A uh, Swedish bestiality ring exposed. Oh. A Swedish newspaper has exposed a network of self-proclaimed... Oh, boy. Zoo files, Jimmy? Yeah, zoo files are people who fuck okay. animals. Uh, nice. Who meet regularly yeah. in locations around the country to have sex with animals. The Good group- pet owners is also another way of... <laughs> what? Hands on pet owners. Yeah. He'll give them attention. <laughs> the attention they deserve. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what that dog wants when he's yelping when you come home. Wants a good fuck. I don't want to scratch behind the ears. Anyone could do that. Yeah. Fast Freddy. He's He's got an itch under his tail that needs satisfying. (laughs) He wants you to grab the scruff of his neck, put him on his back, and fuck him like a pig. (laughs) That's what your schnauzer wants. (laughs) Fuck your mutt. And then rub your dick under that fucking, like... Waterlogged little hairs that hang off his chin. Yeah, dogs always have all <laughs> oh, those smelly, <laughs> wet hairs on his chin. Coochie, coochie with my dick. Yeah. Slap, slap his face violently with a cock. He'll be so scared and confused. He won't know why. He'll just know it's wrong. <laughs> what you're doing? Make that scared, confused look where they look up with their eyes all sad. <laughs> yeah, Your big cocks on his gums. <laughs> Lick pig. <laughs> Lick my cock, you stupid dog. I'll fucking throw you through a fucking window. You don't even understand what you're doing right now, dummy. Yeah. You're queer. Yeah, you're a fag dog. <laughs> and then you fucking, and you come on his little dog gums and throw him out the window. <laughs> Hope you can fly, shit dick. <laughs> Too bad you're not a bird. <laughs> come on, dog gums. <laughs> Stupid! You got the dumb mouths. You could shoot a load right through sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't even touch his mouth. <laughs> you have to fucking throw him out there if you make cummy on his gums. Or to bring your paper with a load in it. So, what if your mom comes over and it licks her face now? Exactly. You gotta kill it. <laughs> no, you don't. That's why you keep it. <laughs> and you put some. Give mom some peanut butter rouge. <laughs> Here you go, bitch. Merry Christmas. <laughs> So no doggy treats comes in chlorine <laughs> flavored. <laughs> Would that be creepy? Yeah. Just to bit. jerk off into your friend's dog's <laughs> dog Gums. dish. No, you, your buddy has a dog. Just jerk off into the dog dish and put it down. And then tell him, <laughs> look who your dog's looking up. Because <laughs> you know stupid dog will go right for yeah. it. <laughs> num, num, num. Ooh, food. Licking the plate like it's fucking ice cream. Yeah. Are we oh. being a comedy channel, a entertainment channel, or a talk news uh, channel? Wow, right now? talk news. I think we're in talk yeah. news. Yeah, because it's a right story now. about bestiality. Yeah, yeah. here we are. Uh, Fast Freddy is correcting himself. I meant prior to your girl. None of you were pro marriage. That's right. There was a famous promo ah, well. that uh, ran on NEW. Remember, it said, uh, uh, "My wife's not even born yet." Yes, man, did I come close to <laughs> trying to close right in on that shit? <laughs> I came close. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. Well, yeah, bestiality. Where I love. We? I love when I I I'm watching something that is uh, from a year that is just such a vivid memory for me, and an adult memory. Uh, you know, it's maybe from like you know 1987 or something like that. And I'm thinking back, like, oh yeah, I was you know, right. touring around with my band or you know just doing whatever. And then I hear, that's the year I was born. Oof. No, hmm. <laughs> no, no. Mm. no there's a weirdness to it though no no never a weirdness mm. no, it's wonderful are you kidding me it's fucking so fantastic hot. i love that there's a weirdness to it no. i was looking, I was looking at it's i was looking great. at uh i love when workers come to the house and go is your daddy home oh boy mm. yeah and then i gotta come to the door <laughs> give her a big tongue kiss freak the guy out right yeah front. yeah oh, thank you sweetie <laughs> tell mommy tell yeah. mommy the wash is done <laughs> a big tongue kiss pat her on the ass as she walks away yeah grab her from underneath we need to poo underpants yeah Just yeah straighten her out Just up like that all right listen you don't find it like a little strange though yeah, no. <laughs> Wonderful. No, oh, what? It's great. I was looking at pictures like uh, my girl was on vacation in uh, the Bahamas or somewhere. Yeah, and uh, I was I, I was doing and the pictures had the year on. Oh, you did a little math, oh, did you? Boy, a little weird. Yeah, that part was a little weird. No, it's good stuff. Ah, uh, mm. so around the country they're having sex with animals. The group consisting of an estimated 30 people is headed by a 45-year-old father of two. The unmarried former managing director is also moderator of a large internet animal sex forum and has a number of dogs and horses on his farm in southern Sweden. Mm. 
But the man was quick to defend his relations with the bitch he bought online from a city-dwelling family who said they wanted the dog to have a better life in the countryside. Yeah, better life. <laughs> you ship your dog off to oh, a farm. To get fucked. And you you just have nothing but, uh, you're just thinking the dog's got to be in heaven. And <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> There's horrific things going dog's on. Dog's going to the country. It's going to be able to run, chase little animals around, right. dig holes, right. do whatever it wants. Oh, and get fucked in the ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> Lassie! Lassie! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come here, Lassie. Where are you? Come here, boy. So, Good. because he got passionate about... <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, a bitch. Countryside. Any of the times I did anything with her, she was the one who backed into me and provoked it. She was in heat and made backed herself into- available. Oh, blame it on the victim. <laughs> That's it. Oh! <laughs> you go. I'm being subtle. Huh? I'm looking for a sound effect, so I just blurt it out. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll find that. So uh, this guy, he's defending his relationship with his dog that he got from a city-dwelling family. He lives in the countryside. And this is his quote again. Any of the times I did anything with her, the dog, she was the one who backed into me and provoked it. She was in heat and made herself available. Yeah, slut. There were also times later when she didn't want to, and then I backed out immediately. So if she wasn't into this, uh, this, this, uh, this thing, this sex, he would just bail and wait for her to be in heat again. I in guess. heat? Yeah. All right. Well, what's wrong with that? Oh, everything. Shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> Thank you. What was for... I thinking for a second? <laughs> uh, during the time spent with uh, members of the network, this guy learned that the group regularly brought along... Oh, the newspaper learned that the group regularly brought along a range of different animals to sex meetings at rented premises. Wouldn't that be cool? It's like, you know, hey, what do we got tonight? Ah, a goat. Yeah, this is one. Wow. We got to go tonight. And then uh, you'd be fucking that. And then, it's almost like the car club I belong to. It's like, hey, what do you want to fuck tonight? <laughs> ah, because it's like, you know, what do you want to drive? Oh, I want to drive the Ferrari or the Lamborghini. It's like, could I, could I fuck? Uh, let me see. A horse. I'd like a horse tonight. Is it stump broke? <laughs> you need a stump broke horse. Horse that'll stand uh, by a stump. Yeah. So you could climb up there because horse pussies are pretty high up. You've seen horse pussy? Oh, yeah. What does horse pussy look like? It looks like a big p- p- pussy. Like real? Yeah. Like not, it doesn't look like an asshole? No, it looks like a pussy. It's a big slit. Like It's if- a big slit. And when they piss, horses kind of slowly... Like spread their legs apart. Yeah, they do that, that thing, and then, and then they go back and arch their back a little, and then a fucking waterfall comes out of this pussy. Really, this horse pussy, and it's all pink inside. Now, if you, if it you would probably like. I can't even imagine because there's got to be no tightness on it whatsoever. It's a horse pussy. It's used to a horse cock. Yeah, and you're sticking your little fucking your little human dick in there. Yeah. So I don't know who's getting satisfied with that. Does it look sexy though? Um, besides no. the fact that it's on a horse. No, there's nothing sexy about it. But it looks like a pussy. Horse shit falls right out of the top of the pussy. It's right. There's a horse pussy. See? That's a horse pussy. Yeah, isn't it like kind of? Don't even get me going with that. You could. That fu- looks yeah, like. I know. I know what it looks like. All right. Dude. Yeah. All right. Dude. Let's just keep it all quiet. Are you kidding me? But look, look at that pussy. That's horse pussy. Dude. Would you fuck that, Jim? That's horse pussy. <laughs> That's, a- That's not horse pussy. <laughs> That's horse pussy. Come on, let me see horse pussy. Horse a pussy more. looks a lot like Get regular the pussy. Fuck out. Well, uh, depending on. Uh, well. Horse pussy smells better, I'm sure. <laughs> it has a smarter head on the end of it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Why did homeless Charlie do what he did? Wow. Oh, my God. We... That is. Are uh, you kidding me? See, you could probably. That's a pretty tight fucking horse pussy. I think that's pony pussy. Really? I think that's Shetland pony pussy. And what's this? That's asshole. But shouldn't that be. Wait. No. Ho- wait. I'm confused. Horse pussy oh, wait, because, is below right, asshole. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Well, this should, if it was a... And then the tail is above a uh, horse asshole. Well, if this was human, then this would be... Yeah. Yeah, a little... Okay. Horse pussy. Up and under. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow, look up horse pussy online. 
<laughs> Only Danny could fucking find a picture of of a guy holding open a horse pussy Dude. as quickly as he did. I I I don't mind. Well, what do you want to look pussy? at? A closed one? <laughs> no, I want the stretched open one. You That's see what the, I'm saying. It's you gotta fantastic. see the pink. That's what Penthouse yeah. taught all of us. Oh, <laughs> one in the pink, one in the real I real got, stink. I gotta be honest with you. I don't mind horse pussy. Yeah. If it's presented that way, it's not like uh, it's not as disgusting as some. Uh, find some other animals, pussy. Find me goat pussy. You know, okay. it would it would <laughs> it would be my luck that I decide to have sex with horse pussy. Yeah, and because the asshole is like w like, and they shit right a above lot, it and they shit. Oh, oh you know, you might have a horse how... shit on a shaft of your dick oh. while you're trying to enjoy <laughs> horse pussy. Right when you're coming, just ruins the whole thing by shitting all over. Getting green Apparently. apple splatters all over <laughs> your fucking dick. And the fucking lot, the giant block of shit would hit your dick and split in half and fall. <laughs> your dick would act like a Ginsu for horse shit. You're trying to fuck it. His tail is all a brush on your chest. <laughs> shit smell all over. You're feeling like a ridiculous. Now you feel silly. You're going to fall off the little ladder you're standing on. Hey, we got to, uh, <laughs> let's say hi to Dave. Mr. Ed, you're on the line. No, well, he's got a horse pussy story. <laughs> ah! Is this comedy talk or entertainment? No, this is more entertainment. in the family and health section. Family and health, right. Yeah, we're now a family All and right. health show. Uh, what do you got, Dave? Hey, listen, me and a guy, uh, me and a pal of mine used to go horseback riding a lot up in Sussex County, New Jersey. Yeah. Go up there, smoke a couple joints, run the horses. We go up there one morning, we're baked, sitting there watching the old 70-year-old guy saddle the horses for us when one of these horses, like Anthony said, spread its leg and unleashed a waterfall. As it's let, as as soon as it's done, it starts winking at us and pushing yeah. out the last couple drops. Horse pussy as twitches it, like you no, won't believe after it, after it pisses. The whole pussy goes. <laughs> it was winking at us. We're and laughing. Spits. Really? It's great. We're we're laughing uncontrollably, and uh, the old seven year old dude looks at us and says, "What's the matter with you, knucklehead? You ain't never seen a horse take a leap before." Uncontrollable laughter, punching out, fellas. Because because the horse pussy twitches. Yeah. Yeah. It's real sexy. Wonderful. <laughs> ah, that's goat pussy. Sure is. See? That's... Could I see that? Yeah, right there. Wow, goat pussy. Goat not... pussy hmm. is... Um, Let me look at goat pussy. Looks like more. a fucking bird's mouth. Looks a little like... Let uh, me see. Yeah. No. Uh, that's tight as shit, though. I'm more into horse pussy. Yeah, you like <laughs> horse pussy better than goat pussy? Well, what do you think? I don't know. Until I see some pig pussy, Danny. Show me pig pussy. <laughs> he ain't going to find oh, pig pussy. pussy. Yeah. Yeah, just gonna punch up some pictures of girls that have been I on know. our show. Well, <laughs> uh, uh, as we look for uh, pig pussies, boo -boo, boo -boo. okay. So they bring a bunch of different animals to sex meetings at rented premises. Mm. At one meeting in a small village in small, five men waited for a woman who had promised to bring along two dogs. But when she was una unable to make it to the meeting, the men spoke instead of their experiences including a previous visit to a co colleague they referred to as Donkey Man. <laughs> what does Donkey Man do? He has a goat and a couple of donkeys. We tried with a donkey, but it didn't work. But we did have sex with a goat, one mm. of the men told this newspaper. Express them. Previous calls for a law banning... Wait. <laughs> oh, there's big. Pig Pussy, of course. Oh, yes. God. <laughs> 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 That's lost. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Previous calls for a law banning sex with animals have fallen on deaf ears. Mm -hmm. Agriculture Minister Eskil outraged many observers earlier this year with the graphic defense of existing animal abuse laws, in which he presented examples of the difficulties faced by courts when trying to differentiate affection from abuse. Ah. Uh, is it and, it, and should it be legal to spread something on the genitalia that might smell or taste nice to a dog in order to allow the dog to lick off Whatever spread on the genitalia. You're giving him all the dog knows is, mmm, that tastes good. It doesn't think. What do you think? The dog sits there and, and whimpers in the corner because it thinks you're abusing it? Uh, it has no clue. You just gave it some tasty peanut butter. <laughs> right. That's all it knows. <laughs> the little treat at the end. The minister continues. He, write, he, he says, should it be permitted to stroke a bitch's teats with love or should it be classified Ew. as animal sexual abuse? Uh, that's just crazy. Yeah, this guy that's crazier crazy. than fucking it. If you fuck a dog, that's that's pretty crazy. Right. But if you're just, like, playing with its tits, <laughs> that's worse than fucking the dog. I submit to you. 
Uh, it kind of goes back to that the gay argument. Right, where... right. The guys having sex or the guys kissing. The kissing. It's like kissing is worse to watch than guys just slamming the each kissing other. kissing more disturbing. Yeah. Like if you're cuddling with your dog and fucking squeezing its tits. Yeah. <laughs> that's just, see, it makes you laugh more than, more than fucking it. So that story is uh, wonderful today. <laughs> Who's saying that? What if you deep mouth kiss your dog? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, just making out with your dog. I hate people that let their dogs kiss them. Lick their face. I Look, I'm getting that. kisses. They My just, friend they just licking, It was just kissing its balls, asshole. They were asshole. just licking their asshole out. Exactly. Just lick the asshole. It cut the middleman out. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> right for that fucking little puckered dog asshole. Oh, with little fucking flakes of shit still on it. Dogs don't wipe. No, they're silly. It's just uh, dirty. All right. Always sit on your I want to flick a dog's asshole. Like, just right in the little hole. I just want to take my finger and go. Oh, would he scoot away? But here's what he would do. His tail would tuck under his legs. His rear legs, both at a time, would go forward, and he'd look back with that <laughs> face. <laughs> he'd be shocked that you just flicked his little asshole. His dog fingers don't do that. So no. You know it's wrong. Dogs can't flick because they don't have that opposable thumb to... Store the energy in the other finger with <laughs> Danny Thanksgiving right around the corner. They're requesting turkey pussy, turkey pussy, oh, turkey. turkey pussy. As we get into, I don't know if day. you could really look at a bird pussy. Why not? I'm having trouble finding uh, avian pussy, is pig that? pussy. I just keep finding pictures of Britney Spears getting out of cars. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> really? <laughs> pig oopsies. That's, that's got to make them feel good. <laughs> yeah, only mammals have real pussies. Well, you know? The horse pussy. That's a mammal. No, I know, but that was pretty impressive. That's pretty pussy-like. What about whale pussy or dolphin pussy? Yeah, give us more pussy. Whale pussy, dolphin pussy, all kinds of pussy. <laughs> What's wrong Apple with the pussy pie we got? pussy. It fucked pretty good. Mm. Um, line of the day. I know it's WebEx, right? It where is. You can hold of course. Meetings from home. You don't have to go to work. No. You hold your to... meetings at home. Well, you don't have to travel. That's cool, too, sometimes. Just put on the top half of your suit and do the meeting like that while you jack it. While you're in your boxers. <laughs> uh, yeah, WebEx. Hold meetings, make presentations. Do it from the comfort of your own home. That's beautiful. Or your office so you don't have to take the business trip. WebEx.com. Uh, check it out for yourself. Indeed. A battle of the bulge at a local nightclub. A female bartender says that her boss forced her to work in the kitchen after she gained five pounds. Was now lenient. she's suing. Victoria Sorzo <laughs> says she was an exemplary employee for nearly a year here at West Hollywood hotspot Foxtail. West now she's Hollywood. filed a lawsuit alleging sexual discrimination, saying her employees moved her from the bar back to the kitchen and told her to lose some weight. It has humiliated me Fuck to you. be told that my value <laughs> as a human being is based solely on my weight. All right. You know what? Can I, can I jump in real fast? Sure. It is a fact. If you hire a hot chick to be behind the bar, you Dude. make more yeah, money. But, but Stop, here's my of point. Course. You this make is, more but, money. But I'm sorry, but this is West Hollywood. You know, kind of, it's all fucking fags. Ah. doesn't matter what she looks like. True. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Virginia Sortso funny, says she's point. always been a size 5'6 <laughs> since she started work as a bartender at Foxtail in January. It's her this height? Is the uniform I was given on my first day of work. What a show, for me. But Sortso says even though her clothing size didn't change, earlier this month the manager told her she'd gained weight so and that she'd have to work five. in the kitchen out of public view until she <laughs> lost 5 to 6 pounds. I love pounds this guy. To start. They told me that my appearance had changed, mm -hmm. that it wasn't my hair or makeup, that I was bigger. They asked me how long it would take for me to lose it. And when I said I didn't know, I'm, I'm a part-time student in the mornings, uh, they said, anyway. we, well, exactly. we're going to have to put you in back. <laughs> we're gonna have to put you. We're gonna have to tuck you away, you pig. What are you? One eighty? Put on an apron. And a hat. Fuck it. It'd be worse if they told her to lose height. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. What do they lose three inches? With it? <laughs> and why send her to the kitchen? That's the worst. Part. I know. Exactly. She's got, She's got her face in the pig. chicken fingers. <laughs> Sort Sos is now on leave from Foxtail, to the owned by LA-based SBE yeah. Entertainment, which owns upscale restaurants, bars, and hotels in LA, Las Vegas, and Miami. 
Sort says further alleges in the complaint that Foxtail was a sexually hostile work environment where women sometimes walked around in lingerie and on one occasion VIPs were given a menu of sex toys for sale. Sort Sosa's attorney maintains her client was being held to an unfair gender stereotype. Oh, fuck off. No woman should fuck have to off. fit a gender stereotype of what a woman should look like. Is that Gloria Allred? That is a form of sex di discrimination, yeah, we argue. Sounds like and that it. is prohibited by law. Especially whereas is here, the men bartenders are not required to lose weight. Yeah, because nobody gives a fuck, you dumb cunt. <laughs> you fucking, you're everything that's wrong with this world, you stupid cunt. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Right? Unfucking believable. Fuck. It, it just astounds me. All right, look, five pounds, that ain't that much. I don't know, maybe she was on the brink. But you ever see girls that are on the brink? But They're on the high end. If you own a business, you should be able to do whatever but the fuck you want. Goddamn right, oh, yes. within the law. Goddamn yes. right. She should have told her just a different reason. Get in the kitchen because I want someone else out there. She's but, an employee. She has to do what he says anyway. But yeah, exactly. It's your it's business. And you're no, no, like, no, but he's stupid not knowing yeah, what I the ramifications that, but, would be. But do you oh, see like, how... this yelling. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Did that get you nervous? Yes. Jimmy. That 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 put a lot of hurt in me. Jimmy. Like it's Jimmy. a tragedy. Some chick had her feelings hurt. You see how we protect mm -hmm. the self-esteem of fucking oh. women? It's the most precious thing on the face. Certainly oh, is. Jimmy, what the fuck? Jimmy, Jimmy. He got, what happened, It's like Jim. I got a piece of shit on my upper lip over here. <laughs> what happened, Jimmy? Not that I'm just listening. <laughs> hey, you don't say too much, Jimmy. What's the matter? I feel fat. That was the, the skinny C push on the story. Fat. A Campari. You don't fart much. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice story. It translates a little better. He said, stop farting. <laughs> and then he said something else and something else. And my son was shot in the back of the head in an empty room. <laughs> Tracy Morgan's on NBC right now. He's always on NBC. Oh, look, Oprah. Good. O Oprah did uh, 30 Rock, yeah. Uh, that's fun. I guess there was something I had for Nick, but I can't remember now. Mm. Uh, Tracy Morgan's funny as hell. There was something. It's funny. There was something where you were going to do. A chill that. pill? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding about that shit. I was just trying yeah. to make Jimmy fart. I see it how worked. He, see how I wanted to anger. Yeah. <laughs> Feels, I feel like there's a little hand try like different emotions, yeah. you know? <laughs> how about angst? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. A happiness? <laughs> Tracy's head is shiny, Jesus. I know. Get girl pregnant. Wow, yeah, look at his hair. It's really shiny. Putting weight on again. It's fake. It's fake. Yeah. For ESA funding. That's For not him. That's not him. Either. That's that guy from CNN. Yeah. Oh, that's you Christopher know, Dodd. Dodd. Yeah. Oh, boy. Guy right. gets his sweetheart deal from country. Yeah. Country let's raid. The, let's uh, play the next 45. Had a white hair on that guy. I like Brian's analogy here. I'm going to use that after you're gone, Brian. <laughs> uh, mom poses as daughter to go back to high school. Mm. How does a 33-year-old mom pass herself off as a high school cheerleader? By I'm blowing the captain? Carey. You're yeah. going to tell us, right? <laughs> Apparently somewhat convincingly, Mike. Police said this woman yeah. attended cheerleading practice, got a cheerleader's locker at school, even went to a pool party at the cheerleading coach's house. Take a look at 33-year-old Wendy Brown. Does she look 15 to you? Huh? No. Yeah. Not at all. Not at all. Felicia Loud Brown guys. stole. She's good, huh? The girl doing the story. Professional. She enrolled at a school in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Problem That's is, neutral. she only went the first yeah. day of class. A truant officer started investigating and found out that her daughter actually lives in Nevada with her grandmother. Oh, who gives a turkey? <laughs> the male cheerleader noticed her pussy was bone dry when he lifted it. <laughs> <laughs> he lifted her I just like the, the way the news guy reacts. It's hard for me to think of a tag for that. <laughs> yeah. Nice, wholesome, clean tag to that joke, Nick. <laughs> Did you hear the news guy? I can't guy? really jump on your, your punchline. Yeah. You're out. Got, you're you're out 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 right, Brian, go. <laughs> Make it wholesome, oh, Interesting please. you said that, Nick, because, uh, no. Let's put uh, it I'm through, sorry. Let's put it through the Brian Regan wholesome filter. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, jeepers. It's a beauty of satellite, isn't it? Uh, sure. It is. certainly is. Wow. What were we going to say yet? Something oh, the, about... uh, the, yeah, the, the woman was like, does that uh, girl, a woman look 15 to you? And one guy, and they went, no! <laughs> like, right, like excited, he knew yeah. a little too much what a 15-year-old looks <laughs> like. The guy right. fucking her. And knew that wasn't it. She's too developed for <laughs> a 15-year-old. No! No!
<laughs> Speaking of pussy, uh, Brian, do, have you ever seen a horse's pussy? Uh, yeah, last night I, I nailed a horse. You nailed it. <laughs> you want to look at horse pussy today? <laughs> Sure. I do. Yeah, is it I, I, get, I get the feeling we're going in that direction anyway. Have you ever seen a horse pussy? I've seen a horse pussy. I, I did is not know Rosie what it looked like until party. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the second half of the cheerleader story as Danny finds horse pussy. Jesus wait, 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 Christ, it's a two-potter? Oh, yeah, it is. Of course. Apparently, this woman had an issue with some childhood she thinks she missed, and this mm -hmm. is her idea of getting her childhood back. Faculty members thought she did look a little bit old. I guess they thought she'd had a rough life, but she acted like a teenager. Apparently, she cried in class because she wasn't good at math. What? Wow. I don't think teenagers yeah, she cry about that. She played this to the hilt. Right. She I did 33 minus hit. 15 equals 18. <laughs> did you, that was her age. <laughs> did you hear what the other guy said? She <laughs> played it. To, she good. played it to the hilt. To the hilt. <laughs> Listen, when was the last time you heard the word hilt? Um, probably Tuesday. <laughs> What? Wow. I don't think teenagers she cry played about this that. To the hill thing. I think teenagers I, don't care if they're not good at math, so I'm not really sure about the whole crying thing. Right. <laughs> so what? What? Oh, what, what so that, that's it. She just won't make it up for lost time. Relive. I, 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 guess I think, she didn't it's, have a, I think it's a little deeper than that, actually. But oh. that's her story that supposedly she's telling. Christ. And then she, she had to write a check for some cheerleading activities, and then she bounced the check, and that kind of also led to her whole story sort of falling apart. Wow. This is crazy, Mike. It is. <laughs> Jimmy. Brian, if I was you, I would sneak out. Yeah. Jimmy's just <laughs> blasting <laughs> farts no, off now into the microphone. The way to, yeah. My joke bombed, and that was that was me push, pushing like bad jokes out. Oh, Brian, sneak out! It's gonna start getting ugly. <laughs> Is this the news? There's Muppets on. Why are there Muppets on the news? They look like Susan Waldman. <laughs> oh. They've been doing Hopefully the Muppet it's a, thing all day. Yeah. Maybe it's some kind of anniversary. Tie in with Jim from. Henson. A yeah. monotonous. Mm. Yes. It's been Were five they... years since the whole country went. He liked what in his what? <laughs> when he died and people thought it was of something else. <laughs> <laughs> people are very excited that uh, Brian Regan is into bestiality like we are. So why don't we show Brian the horse pussy? There's a horse pussy. <laughs> is that fucking oh, nice? That, uh, that ain't right. That looks like a fat pussy on top and an asshole right. on the bottom. It looks like just the opposite. Brian, would you? What? <laughs> yeah, ride I'd, I'd ride that horse. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to play, would you? That's oh, all. Would you? Sure, that's not. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna decline. <laughs> this gets back to the two. I'll, I'll be in the line. No, no, thank you. I'm more grossed out by the awful wrinkled hands holding it open. <laughs> yeah, those are terrible hands. I bet they that, fingers smell real nice too. That after that, from olive commercial. Yeah, that, 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 that's like what a bad hand model gets. He gets that gig. <laughs> A, a good hand Funny. model gets the Noxzema ads. Yeah. The bad hand model gets this gig. It's the hold open a horse pussy. We got that picture. We got that picture from Oprah's OGBY. Oh <laughs> shit! Listen to me. There's something else going with the going on with the hands. That's yeah. a man's hand. Yeah, that's a female's two different, hands. It's two different hand. hands. Oh wow! They're working together to open up yeah, the horse that's, pussy. That's, that's uh, great. Wow. No team. Look, it was at a bar at fucking Look, uh, Secaucus. <laughs> someone, someone needs to open free up hand. the horse yeah. pussy this weekend. <laughs> right on closing time. Come on in, Nickel Bears. The horse pussy. Oh, just stick your tongue in there. Jeez, oh man. Stick your tongue in there. What? Taste oats? <laughs> uh, let's say it's hi. awful. Looks awful human. Yeah, yeah that's what we're it? getting at there. No, Nick. I that's why that. we play the would you like game. in a pinch. <laughs> right? Would you? In would a you? pinch? It's been years. I don't, I don't, would you? Is that actually You're a horse? horribly disfigured yeah. and you can't that, fucking? It fuck looks and... like the exit wound of Martin Luther King's back. Yeah, it does really look awful. Yeah. Mm. Problem is the asshole is too is right on top of it, like dressed. I mean, you're gonna get shit on if you're having sex with this. Looks like a speed bag. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? Kind nice. <laughs> of saved me a little bit. Hey, we almost uh, didn't do our jobs today. I just realized. What? This thing has been sitting in front of us, and we did. We almost didn't play this. An empty CD case? Why, Opie, what is it? <laughs> the smallest man meeting the... the, the oh, oh this yeah. This is the story. That's it, it the story. It might even be better than the old broads with the crab apple tree. No, I doubt it, unless they say something really funny. <laughs> oh, and I am keeping track. Two yeah. days in a row, using the word battle axe. Yeah, oh, yeah. I kind of like battle axe. we got to work that in every day for a while. Yeah, for a little I, while. Did you see the photo of them together? Yes, that's what I'm getting at. Oh, Let's play God. the story, and then we'll explain the photo. Yeah. I took a picture of it. It's up on ONA Radio. This is, this is every news. Ahead. Every news station is uh, covering this story because it's like the feel-good kind of, oh, look at this story. Yeah.
<laughs> well, the shortest man in the world comes face to knee with the woman who has the longest legs on earth. Ping Ping from China. Those awesome long legs! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Al Pacino <laughs> under this lady. They go on for days, Turk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's standing uh, between her legs, right? Yeah. Well, they say face to knee. I say face to can't. Oh, it, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why don't you drop a little wig glue on my head? Yeah. <laughs> I got a nail my yarmulke to my head. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done Pacino in a few days, and it's showing. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Knee with the woman who has the longest legs on earth. Ping Ping from China is just two foot five. And Svetlana Pankratova from Russia is six foot seven with four <laughs> foot four legs. You see the photo of them together? He looks like she had a miscarriage. <laughs> yes, look. Look at the picture. It's like she just dropped them right out there on the sidewalk. They did that on purpose. Of course. Yeah, the, guy, the little fella's uh, right under her. You know what? Wearing traditional... Yeah. What is that? Chinese uh yeah, Chinese baby wear, I guess. Costume baby clothes. I don't know She's what it sexy, is. man. You like that? Oh, yeah, come on, Jimmy. Look Yo. at the boobs. There's no boobs there. She's a monster, but Would there's you like something that? sexy about the There's that e episode of uh, Seinfeld where George wants to have sex with a giant woman. <laughs> yeah. That would she'd be perfect. She needs implants or something because her boobs can't possibly be big enough to uh, compensate for the body. Jeez. She's got very long legs is what it is, and that's what her record is, I guess. She's got um four foot 52 four, four. Four, four? I believe, yeah. <sighs> wow. Four legs. Would be a freaky wow. thing. The pair posed for photographers in mm. London yesterday to promote their entries into the Guinness Book of World Records. Take a look at that picture. Wow. That is wild. <laughs> yeah. These guys. <laughs> yeah. These guys. You talk about Steve having no improv skills. That's wild. You can't make a joke out of this? Look yeah. at that guy. No, they they probably can't. Look at the dumb little shoes they got that little thing wearing. I know. What? They dressed it up like a stupid little thing. Like little curl shoes. Little curly shoes. It's wearing a little blue robe thing and yellow pants. Oh, yellow pants. Green shoes. It's a little mess. Look at her Ugh. big dumb ankles for support. Oh later. Awesome. God. Giraffe ankles. Stupid big whore and a little walking keychain. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wild. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And like Linda said, where does she get her uh, stockings? <laughs> right. You got to be special made. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought when I saw that picture. <laughs> I did, really. See, the, the dude wants to make the can't joke. Fucking <laughs> he shaved. <laughs> Oof. You <laughs> <laughs> on crack. <Yeah. laughs> Looks like a keychain, Turk. <laughs> Put your keys on them. <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> yeah. Well, the key to happiness is revitalizing Soho. <laughs> Tribeca. Yes. It's my home. Triangle below canal, and as you see in Raging Bull, I'll ring your bell. <laughs> Idiot, blithering dolt. I love it. Uh, it's completely unexpected. Expected, yes, totally expected. <laughs> nice interview, <laughs> Dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turk and Rooster. Turk and Rooster. I can't wait to see the uh, oh, cocologic animation. animation. No, have you? The movie, I mean. No, no. I'm waiting for, for uh, Cable to pick it up tomorrow. <laughs> you didn't see the movie. You're like every other American. I'm going to go out and instead I'm going to buy a Chinese keychain. <laughs> she should just drop a loaf on him. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird looking little thing that is, though. Yeah, he, like, it doesn't even look like just a little person. There's something wrong with that thing. It looks like you might have that uh, like primordial, primordial dwarf. dwarf thing going on. I bet you that's what's happening. It's not cute. No. It's they should, freakish. They should play, like, gagunk, gagunk music whenever he walks anywhere. <laughs> gagunk, gagunk. Yeah, gagunk, 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 gagunk. Oh, the... Those scared me. Yeah. Blink, 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 blink
Plunk. <laughs> I'd be all scared. Another thing that made me oh, cry. Oh, Jack in the Box has made me cry so bad. I gotta, we gotta Stupid get a Jack stealing my girlfriend. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. That was oh. a little joke. <laughs> Very little. <laughs> I did actually. You're, you're actually made a great point. What? He, he's sitting under her legs. And the top of his hair is red. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. That's hilarious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> looks like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, looks like Svetlana made the little fella a hat. <laughs> oh, that's my cranky hat. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she should make little it. Little seagull comes and pull, flies off with him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thinks he's a trout. Yeah. Wait, bird. That's not a discarded <laughs> piece of trash. That's a man. <laughs> he just smells that way. Help me. Help me. <laughs> she should try to make it snow on the, the little fella's head. <laughs> Ooh. A little. Mm. All I want to do is bully him. I know. Wouldn't it be fun to push him down and watch him fall on his little hiney? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to poke his chest really hard and just watch him tumble backwards. <laughs> oh, it's not thing. cute. No. It's not cute. It looks... Ugh. I can beat the crap out of him. Oh, that'd be fun. What if, <laughs> what if you know some of that kung fu? Though? Oh, stop. Oh, I mean, look, please. <laughs> why Why do we want to hurt it? I want to hurt it. Oh, what if we want to see him fall on his little <laughs> hiney? Fall down those stairs. <laughs> fall on his little hiney. His little legs would go straight out, and his feet would be sticking straight up, and he'd just go, bonk, like a baby falls on its little hiney. <laughs> Iraq, you're whispering in the microphone. Iraq. Uh, microphone, Iraq. What's up? Ogie boy. I was just saying, he was talking about the bird. I found something. Well, go ahead and play it. There you go. Wow. All right. Um, well, <sighs> thanks, Iraq. It was that bit. Yes, it is an hour Well, later. well, let's say hi to Mike in New York City. Mikey. Hey, morning, boys. Just going to say the, uh, looks like the little shrunken head guy from Beatles used to age pretty well. Right. Bit was going so well the too. Count. Wow. Rock, thanks. Now two yeah. strikes. Good. I want to see his little shoes again. Yeah, let me see his little. Oh, oh God! Look at those stupid things. Little booties. I want to stand on the tips of them and then push him over, <laughs> so he pops right back up. Yeah. And you can push him and punch him again. <laughs> yeah. I want to pick him up by the ankles and beat Svetlana with him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like at the end of The Wanderers when Perry's father was swinging one ducky boy yes. into another. <laughs> Why don't you get your mother a little something? A drunk mom. Well, that wasn't Perry's father. Yeah, it was the other guy. Joey, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, God. What is that thing? What's wrong with it? The parents were probably killed, I bet. After they saw that, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure the government came up, killed the parents, took it, and put, dressed it like that, and put it in some kind of freak show. Put our woman in the Museum of Science. <laughs> Museum of <laughs> ill. <laughs> we got a great story. We got to squeeze in, and then we get squeeze, and then we uh, we find out how the hostage exchange went with. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. We will definitely do that before eight o'clock. But first, uh, we uh, we got a uh, a man passing gas. This story is hilarious. Mm. And, well, he's charged with battery on an officer. It was a crime, huh? They, they turned this into a crime. If cows do it and bears do it, people do it, everybody does it. Excuse me, i got to go do it. Okay, Jerry. But break wind around an officer and expect to pay the price. Jose Cruz is facing a battery charge for getting a leg up on police and releasing foul air. Sounds funny, but police say passing gas is a serious offense. Cruz is accused of stinking up the police station while being arrested for DUI. Wait, now hold on. How is how is passing gas a serious offense? I mean, what what? Uh, you can't. It's an accepted, although you know, disgusting. But it's an accepted biological function. I think everybody knows. He, it's not like he started. Uh, uh, defecating in the station house. It sucks for everybody when you you crop dust, but uh, you know you got to. Yeah. You can't hold it in, right? It's not fun. It's not fun for anyone. I can't see it being a crime. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see if we could get to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the on the street interviews. These are always good. Mm. I'm all for the cop. Uh, because you wouldn't want someone to do that to you. Oh, you? the cops. Let's charge these sex offenders out here. You know, let someone that's passing gas know. Was the smell that offensive to where you had to charge the man? Yeah, how bad was the gas that you got to charge the guy? 
Oh, how bad had it been? So bad. God Almighty, I'm, I should be on the FBI's most wanted list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the guy, the guy, kind of, kind of like really took advantage of the fact that he had bad gas. Listen to this. According to the criminal complaint, the smell was, quote, very odorous, and he got more than a whiff. The officer says Cruz moved into position and used his hand to fan the smell in his direction. Uh, <laughs> what balls this guy has. I love him. Real character. Farting on the cops. <laughs> I'm using his hand like Jimmy. Yeah, here you go. Take this, yeah, you. Yeah, try this. I may lose my license. Uh, so here's a little something for you. Uh... Would you not consider that to be chemical warfare? Oh. <laughs> well, Stop. it might be psychological warfare, but chemical warfare, no. Whatever it may be, <laughs> Cruz could spend up to a year in jail, fueling debate whether flatulence constitutes a crime and a strange case of law and odor. Oh, I get it. Should be law and order, I think. He said odor. Oh. Fart puns by the media. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the economy's falling apart, but let's have fart puns. <laughs> I don't mind them doing fart puns. Just don't get this, the, the carte blanche they have with content. Yeah. That's, that's all, my only problem. They can do whatever they want, and they never get fined. Mm -hmm. Well, they're bringing you the news. I don't believe the passing gas ought to be on the law books of any city in the United States. Passing gas is a natural thing. No one's going to be able to stop passing gas if they have to pass gas. So I smoking give you 24 weed, hours man. And a free bottle of Beano. <laughs> if a reporter came up to you and asked you, "What do you think of this story?" Wouldn't you just say, "Go away"? I'd urinate on him. Yeah, these people are like uh, oh, giving yeah. serious mm. answers. Just I ain't go gonna away. Work. Mm. Dumb story. I like how we pointed it at him, though, and kind of wafted it. Yeah, absolutely. I used to have a friend, if you were driving in his uh, pickup truck, he'd um, he'd blast one off right in his hand. Oh, like yeah. He'd put his hand down there, and you could actually hold it in your closed, clinched, lightly clinched, fisted hand and throw it at your nose. And you'd be like, oh, stop, yeah. It's called cup of fart. <laughs> I live to cup farts. Yeah. You just you feel that little warm blast. It, it's like a little baby breathing life into your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just hold it by the one's nose and you release it. You don't throw it. You open no. your hands as one would free a, a, a piece dove. <laughs> 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 just let it waft. Right under their nose and they don't yeah. know what you're doing. It's almost like you're going, ta-da. There's one, you know, the ones with a lot of temperature to them. That just sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you just know it's going to be a, a ripe one. You yeah. always know as it's working its way through the plumbing, you feel a doozy coming on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing better than that. <laughs> it's great. There's, you just enjoy it by yourself. I, I'm going to start taping myself in my life because I can't tell you the farts I let go. <laughs> Literally, when a girl leaves or a massage therapist, <laughs> I, I for years wanted to do this. Literally. All right, take care. Close. <laughs> it is mind-boggling how my system, it's finally like system Pavlov's secure. ass. Yeah. You know, Anthony's on to something, though, because the farts that, like, <laughs> not much to them. But that, that airy one that you did, the... <laughs> those are just the worst. That really... <laughs> um... <laughs> Shelby, Anthony, by the way. I have not read this. I only read the headline, Man Sues Doctors After Penis Amputated. Ow. Really? Oh, my God. Really? What's what he gets? All right. We'll move on. Well, oh, well, well, I'm kidding. I was, uh, I was just reading to myself, and they're not going to read it to the audience. That was just my idea. <laughs> uh, it's uh, a Shelby County man in Louisville. And his wife said, two doctors amputated this guy's penis without his consent and of course, they filed it. This is a just justifiable lawsuit, by the way, because usually you'd mm. want that to ask first. Sure. I wonder if he was under a local. Uh, <laughs> according to the lawsuit, uh, this guy went to have a circumcision last October. When he woke up, he realized his penis was gone. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's. Did he uh, check a book kiosk? What? Detachable penis. Sorry. Boo! Thank you. King Missile? Yeah. King Missile. Well, I was doing a little King Missile. Oh, I, just, I didn't get it. Well, at the end of the song, he finds it in a book 
like one of those little kiosks that they sell books you're, at. That hurt my kidneys. And he was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, too, you're too clever for your own good. Ah, yes, I never heard that. <laughs> yes. Literally, I never have. I right, continue. I'm sorry. No. I didn't mean, to, didn't mean to bring a screeching halt to your. <laughs> By the way, when I said this was going to be my of a penis, when I said this was going to be my favorite part of the show today, I, I wasn't referencing this. Not this. It's what we're going to get into in a few minutes. Right. The lawsuit was filed. Um, <laughs> okay, ba ba ba. It was against the guy who uh, I guess took it off. Well, I would think so. How did? Why would he take the guy's penis off? Oh wow! He the plaintiff's attorney yes. said that the doctor amputated the organ after finding cancer, but he only had consent to remove the foreskin. Sometimes you have an emergency and you have to do this, but he could have very easily closed them up. Go here's your options. You have cancer. Yeah, what's it spreading like a fire? Just you know, sew them up. Tell the guy, look, uh, I got some bad news for you. I would, I would live with the cancerous penis. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, <laughs> I ain't walking around like a girl. How about a second opinion? Maybe they could remove, you know, some of the bad part and leave some of the good part and then graft in, you know, skin from your arm. Is that what you need? Your penis know. to look like a half-eaten uh, uh, hot dog? <laughs> Just a piece of it gone? Who needs that? <laughs> Uh-oh. Like, gunk. I know I inhaled and, s and inhaled some of my saliva. Did you inhale and swallow at the same time? Yeah. Cool. A lot of times that will happen while bull servicing. <laughs> <laughs> the bull. Like all of a sudden you'll, you'll think you have it, and then the bull's hand just goes, uh-uh. Uh -uh. No, he's no. not ready yet. No. All right, let's guide you down a little bit. <laughs> we got a very uh, sad story uh, here. Listen closely. <clears throat> we have a fire taking out uh, 15 people. What? Yeah, yeah, listen to this. 15 people are dead and 10 more hurt after an early morning fire raced through an adult video theater in the hmm. Japanese city of Osaka. Oh, One of the customers has been arrested on suspicion of arson and attempted murder. Police say he's admitted to setting the fire with newspapers. Most of the theater's 32 viewing cubicles were <laughs> occupied when the fire broke out. <laughs> Japanese fire officials are now conducting a nationwide inspection of other facilities with individual cubicles. How, how bad do you need to get the poison out that you, you're going to burn in one of those smoke and you're right. like, I'm almost done. <laughs> yeah, I'm God. almost done. <laughs> I bet you the oxygen like fed the fire as it got sucked from buddy booth hole to buddy booth hole. <laughs> <laughs> guys open mouth on one end and a fire shooting into it. <laughs> Why didn't they uh, use their hoses? <laughs> well, the floors are probably flammable. Who knew that stuff went up so fast? Uh, uh, <laughs> All the booths were uh, occupied and yeah, yeah we, lost, we, we, we lost 15 Great, fifteen great, fifteen good, great yeah. men, Ugh. perverts, <laughs> great people watching girls in wedding dresses. Yeah. And where was it? Yeah, I'm sure it was Japan. just wonderful Japan. pornography that is uh, so nice and civilized. Hmm. Oh God, do they have the worst porno? Awful. Oh, but really? but uh, pixelate out uh, any uh, hair that they might have uh, down in that area. The because unsexiest porno. Yeah, it's horrid, horrid. I never understood that fetish. It's terrible porn. It is. Here's the Fisher Price baby doll. What did that sound like to you? Something like to that, you. Yeah, I think I just heard. Mia Williams believes this doll, despite its sweet name, is spouting more hate than love. More And all of a sudden it says, Islam is the light. And I'm like, I'm like, turn down the radio. And then it's like, Satan is the king. Well, Satan is the king? Well, Satan, sure. He has a story Islam to tell as well. is the light. Satan is the king. Why doesn't anyone find like Satan after a crazy moment like that? I'm King Satan. Who are you calling? The voice man, voicemail or something? The doll is called voicemail. the Little Mommy Real Loving Baby Cuddle and Coop. They were cute. We were walking past, and as you walk past, they they left. It's made by Fisher Price and sold by stores all over the country. We showed it to another mom. I hear I heard it say Islam is the light. I think that's nuts. You could pull out the batteries, but Target says they're already pulling it off the shelves. If you do find you have one, you should bring it in for a return and then contact the manufacturer for what, your price. I'm lost. What was it supposed to be saying? I don't know. Did it's they say? It's obviously saying Islam, Islam is the light. I, I, it I, is? Do you it, believe it? I believe, yeah, the toy companies do this on purpose to get them talking about products. Uh, you know how many people are going out and buying this doll now? 
Mm. Just because uh, it's the thing to do. If what, you what have the doll, decapitate it and right. send it back to right. be- Fisher Price. Behead it. <laughs> yes. Behead the doll <laughs> with the, as an infidel. With the Fisher Price. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Send it back with a receipt yeah. and the severed head. <laughs> right. And we'll give you your money back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they do that shit on pers- uh, on purpose. I'm yeah, get a little publicity. Yeah, sure, a little publicity for the doll. Uh, wow, some people aren't feeling it. Listen to this; it's a quickie. The economy stinks. People are losing their jobs and homes. But out of the ashes, the thousand dollar lap dance has been born. What? You heard right. A lap dance costing one thousand dollars is being offered at the VIP lounge in Chelsea in Manhattan. So what do you get for a grand, you're asking? Well, you get a 20-minute topless lap dance, a bottle, a bottle of Dom Perignon, beluga caviar. You get to keep the dancer's G-string. And presumably, you leave with a smile on your face. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I want to be eating caviar during a uh, lap dance. No. Yeah, why don't you throw you know? a piece of haddock on there, too? It really, really kind of uh, confuses the senses. <laughs> that dope doesn't know what a lap dance oh. is all about. Caviar. Do they spray the caviar with cheap perfume so it's really authentic smelling? <laughs> yeah. God, I hate stripper smell. You know it what? It comes out to ACDC. <laughs> yeah. This is going to lead to a, yeah. a stripper being found in a shallow grave somewhere. Yeah, you never, you never hear that. <laughs> well, I mean, guys, you know, they're going to expect... Huh, For, for a, a grand? To, to keep your stupid caviar. What kind of dummy is spending $1,000 for a lap dance when some, you could spend it on, like, just some girl to come over and service? Some dummy who wants to be like, look, I can throw away a thousand. The same dummy that uh, bought that $1,000 app. Right. Just, you know, who just Oh, wants to, I am rich? Yeah. it's That app? Yeah. I don't think anyone actually bought that, no. did they? Yeah, but, three people bought it by accident. By accident. Because <laughs> they thought it was nine ninety nine. dollars And you don't get your money back. But these strippers are, uh, they're going to be harassed. I paid $1,000. Just, they're not going to be harassed. They're going to be choked out. Yeah. <laughs> Just have, in those black lights, you'll see fingerprints around their neck where the red marks are. You know what the, the, the load of crap is here? Yeah. Is that you'll be in there, but there'll be some big, burly bouncer watching you. Take your hands off. Don't touch. No touching. Don't touch the hips. Don't do the... You know, it, there's a difference between uh, some gentle touching and grabbing or throwing her on the floor and, uh, you know... Going the full distance there. Strip, strip clubs stink. Strip clubs are horrible. They're the worst. They're awful. There's yeah. no no sexual gratification there. It's it's sexual frustration at some point in your life. Then you even get past that where it's just it's just you, you're annoyed. You're every, just annoyed. Every time I go to a strip club, the only thing that turns me on is either the waitress or the girl that walks around giving massages because yeah. they're the only real people there that hey how you doing my name's yeah. this and you feel like you can actually pick them up the strippers are so annoying mm-hmm. and egotistical and they actually, they let you in on the scam they let you in on yeah. hey and then if you're like no i'm cool then they just give you an attitude like i wasn't i don't like you anyways i was just doing it for the money it's like yeah. oh god mm. they they're oh it, it stinks was twenty dollars kinda... for what do you know what twenty dollars could get you down in like the meat packing district yeah for twenty lousy dollars? Yeah, if you know how to negotiate. Yeah. And guys are paying a thousand for nothing? Yeah. Dumb. Craigslist? You can get a you can get a slide. A slide treatment. A slide treatment? Yes, yeah, a slide treatment. Do it with your body to show me what it is. Well, a woman will get naked, you oh. lie on your back, she oils up her body and then slides. Slides on you? She slides. That is know. silly. That it is silly, but, but does fun. it work? Is <laughs> it like to completion? Yeah. Well, yeah, then the slide turns into a uh, Oh, okay, it turns into a, to a yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Yeah, one of those things that I can't one say on the those. radio that I'll mess up the show because I keep I don't know how to say does it. Does it turn into where she couldn't um recite the national anthem or couldn't juggle? Just you're happy at the end. <laughs> Oh, okay. So it's juggle. She couldn't juggle at the same time. Yes. All right. Yes. But she could talk to you. Yeah, but you have a, it's sliding. You feel the little things. It, it turns, that's cool. It turns into, you know, a children's slide, and, and, and it's really hot, and you don't make it to the bottom of the slide anymore. Right. Ooh. The sliding. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, somebody throws yogurt on the bottom of the slide, and you <laughs> slip right, right down yeah. into the sand, and it's dirty, and uh, she has to get you a towel, yeah. and then you feel, like, ashamed. It's terrible. And then you give her the $100, and then she leaves. Hey, uh, we got a great little story. You guys hear about the uh, the first double arm transplant? What? Double arm transplant. No. <laughs> I haven't. What? 
Wow. I'm just thinking about what we're talking about oh, off the. Oh, the, oh just, God! Just we're coming, a, coming, and and retrieving the cum. <laughs> it's retrieve, retrieving the feeling. <laughs> we were talking about cumsies. <laughs> cumsies. <laughs> well, I, I just remember one time I was in Vegas and this girl was so hot and she wanted to. I was so out of her league. She really wanted to fuck hard, but I put in a couple of times and I I came. <laughs> And uh, she she was so disappointed with me. She kept trying to stuff like my my all oh, the my, limp noodle. My, she <laughs> tried to get the limp fuck she gone. Thought, she thought her pussy was magic. Like if she just got my limp dick inside, it would fill up like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> magic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's just mushing it in her fucking wet box, and I was like, it's not gonna happen. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. You gotta, I'm where, sorry, where, this pump where, is closed. Where, where. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta put the orange cone out. And, <laughs> that sucks. Just a disappointed hot chick um, trying to mush my my little mushy mushroom cap into her pussy. <laughs> and then we were talking about the uh, the fact that you know your guy, you're, you're fucking away, and uh, and uh, you got to do a pull out or something, yeah. and and you <laughs> you thought you timed it you right. You thought you timed it right. But you timed it just too short, so you're not getting the feeling of coming, like that real pleasurable ugh feeling. But you're coming, so it's it's wasting it. And you, we're talking about how you try to real quickly. You got to act quick to recapture the feeling. Either grab your cock and start jerking <laughs> like a monkey, yeah. or sh try to like shove it between her ass crack, or just anything to get the cumsy <laughs> feeling, that good cumsy feeling back. <laughs> <laughs> it's just coming out like you just had death of work done, oh, drooling yeah, down just... your cheek, and you can't feel anything. Well, because you thought you could stop just in time, and you were like, you, you missed it by one. Ah, uh, yeah. One. Yeah, I've missed by a second, it's dribbling, and then you're like, oh, I don't have the cumsy feeling. <laughs> I went through all that, and I didn't get my cumsy feeling, so you got to like kind of try to recapture. You only have a small window of opportunity, too, yeah. to yeah. recapture. You got you lock your legs as hard yeah. as you can. Uh, clinch your clinch ass, your ass cheeks, cheeks and just and fucking arch your back. Shove your dick against something real hard. It's like landing the shuttle. Like you just have, <laughs> yeah. you got that that one window. If you miss it, you got to go all the way around. You're, all, you're fucked. That's, that's a great way to look at it. All right. Yeah, cumsy. You need the cumsy feeling. Well, that feeling is just when you ever get a good cumsy feeling oh. where it goes on and on, and then you think it's done, then you get yeah. another little fucking cumsy feeling. Mm. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, yeah. I wonder if our cum feeling is better than a woman's cum feeling. I don't know. I, uh, I think I think it all depends on who the fuck you are. Because uh, there have been girls that just, I mean, nothing, and then girls that are just fucking leaving uh, leaving nail marks in your headboard like the well in fucking Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it's, uh, it all depends, I guess. Yeah, some girl, you know, you have a, especially when you're figuring the shit out, you know, when you're just going through d junior high, high school, and you're trying to figure shit out, and you go down on a girl, like, and it's your first few times doing it, and, you know, you're a rookie, you're trying to get in there and do it, and a chick is, like, really digging it. Stop bragging. And they, yeah, actually no, put, no, some you, people, tr you, you know, figure to try this stuff out in college. No, the, no, no. Fucking like, junior like, high and high school. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, that's when I'm, you're licking yeah, that's snatch. When, that's when, when I was licking that, snatch. When sure. you first start eating pussy, you actually put your tongue inside and yeah, lick and, around. And think that's just it. Just f face fucker with your tongue dick. <laughs> that's <laughs> what you're doing. But, but you figure something out, and, like, you hit pay dirt, and the girl's going crazy, and you're like, all right, I finally figured out how to do this. It's like golf. Some some days you're out there and you're like, I figured oh, out the game. It's you great. Got the stroke down. And then you you get another girl and you do the same thing and she's like, yeah. <laughs> it's hey. like wait, but but she but this other girl she liked it, but then. <laughs> You and scratch. then you just start face fucking her with your tongue dick again. And try to think of something else. Just stick your fingernails in there and scrape those little rice crispy fucking bumps off the inside of her pussy. Uh, <laughs> Come out with skin under your fingernails. Uh, they all have different combinations. Is yeah, it, it is. It's like different fucking things you got to do. They're yeah. like one of those wooden puzzle boxes. <laughs> right. You got to try to figure out how to uh, Rubik's. Yeah. Cube. I want to <laughs> blow in one, like try to fill it up like a balloon, <laughs> like to see if her stomach blows is, up. It would, yeah. Would it really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, we I'm had a girl a in here. We were blowing, uh, oh, that was in her ass, though. We were blowing air. And I was there for that. You were here for that one? That was uh, terrific. All right, listen, Let's. Uh, this is creepy, a creepy story. We got a guy that's walking around with somebody else's arms. Yeah. We're not talking about, like, fucking <laughs> that's weird. artificial. This up is to where? 
Like I don't know. To, we'll find out. Does it have the same <laughs> hair color? Not up to where? Till the day he dies. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> he has blonde hair on and, and brown hair. He's <laughs> black with white arms. That'd be <laughs> there great. You go. There's the joke. He can walk through the stores and people think he's not stealing stuff. <laughs> yeah, told, told people would feel safe with him. <laughs> <laughs> This German man says after living without arms for six years, words can't describe how he feels now. Wow, because uh, just because uh, I want Danny to look this up as we do this story. Thank you, Ohio Fry. Boys, please tell me you read that Obama's plane smells bad. It's on the front page. Yeah. Of the <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what's that That's about? That's not that. good. This oh, German boy. man says after living without arms for six years, he words seems can't armless describe enough. how he feels now. <laughs> Carl Merck is doing well more than two months after undergoing what doctors say is the world's first complete double arm transplant. A team of doctors in Munich spent 15 hours in July grafting donor arms onto the 54-year-old's donor body. Donor arms. Merck lost lost his own arms yeah. just below the shoulder in a farming accident. Whoa. But he's now able to perform some basic tasks, like opening doors and turning off lights. Doctors say that's a good indication of nerve growth in the arms, but they say it could still take up to two years before his hands are fully functional. Merck says he can't wait to go home, but doctors expect him to remain at the hospital for another four to six weeks. During that time, he'll continue to have intense therapy. That will also give doctors an opportunity to monitor his health because there's a risk that his immune system will reject the new arms. Oh, they Although just doctors curl up. This time, there's no sign of that. As for the long-term goal, Merck says one day he hopes to be able to Jerk eat off. on his own, dress himself, and ride and a motorcycle off. again. <laughs> yeah. Imagine and, that he, uh, he rejects yeah. the arms while riding the motorcycle. <laughs> he just, <laughs> fuck your body goes, fuck you, this ain't mine. Uh, yeah. just, ah! <laughs> Just they, peels they, off. Sw they swing off of his shoulders and gun the throttle because they're dangling on his handlebars. <laughs> God damn. Uh, I mean, that's he goes rough. to do the fucking uh, the, the Maverick Top Gun. <laughs> and his arm just fucking and falls his off. his arm flies off as he puts his fist in the air. <laughs> he's uh, operating a roller coaster ride and just hits the switch. <laughs> I can't shut it off. <laughs> that would suck. That's fucking weird, man. How did he get the donor arms? Just a, a dead, uh, dead guy arms? Dead guy arms. I guess it would be the live yeah. guy. Well, be who's like, going to donate their fucking <laughs> arms? <laughs> you know, Excuse me, I'm using those. It's, yeah. it's tough enough to get someone to donate blood. You're not going to get anyone to donate arms. <laughs> that seems cause. really like, like, all right, your heart, liver, things like that. <laughs> yeah. You take them out, you pack them in ice, you find them, whatever it is. But arms seem kind of weird. Dude, it's just a bigger cooler. Yeah, I guess so. It's, 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 it's holding a beer. It's one of those <laughs> big cool, Budweiser ones. It's a beer in the hand. <laughs> you just sew it on. Guys, start drinking. That uh, uh, that's creepy as all fuck though. Oh yeah. I, <sighs> and we the old uh, the age old question is it gay, gay when you jerk off now with some other guy's arms? <laughs> Because it's yeah, not your hand. You're looking at a different man's hand. Just to know that there's like been some other dude's cum on your hand. Yeah. Like he uh. jerked off and. And then, like, when you're eating something, would you lick your fingers to get the shit off? No, and it's like some guy's fingers. And how about this? You're the dead guy. Now your arms are still being used to wipe someone else's ass. Yeah, hey, you look at it that way too. Nice. Oh, that's not fun. All right, uh, <laughs> we're gonna do this uh, story. The kids are doing this today. They're sending oh, each the other kids. naked pictures. That's cute. Thirteen-year-old North Texas boy is facing a third-degree felony tonight: possession of child pornog uh, pornography. The boy found himself in trouble after a girl at his middle school sent a nude photo of herself to his cell phone. We aren't identifying the thirteen-year-old boy and his mother, but they say it's the talk of Sanger Middle School. He was arrested yesterday on a charge of possessing child pornography after his mother says a friend, an eighth-grade girl sent him a nude picture of herself to his cell phone. I was really just speechless that day. All of it was happening so fast and the decisions were being made so quickly and um, I was just concerned for him. I think if you're 13, you should be able to have pictures of other 13-year-olds of naked. 13 year olds naked on, your, on your phone. <laughs> I think if you're a little older, too. You should, no. well. <laughs> <laughs> now, who ratted him out? His own mother, was it? Uh, I missed that. I'm sure some nerd. Yeah. It's always the He was nerd. probably showing the picture around. And oh, yeah. Bragging. Someone said, yeah. Oh, God. Wow, what a little hose bag. I love that. Mm -hmm. She says his football coach took her son's cell phone 7 a.m. last Thursday when he shut up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is oh, the football? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I'm going to take God. this. <laughs> this is not good. I got to look yeah. it. I got to confiscate your phone. Hmm. Hey, uh, you. You got it. <laughs> Get over here with that! <laughs> Give me that phone! 
I'll hold on to it while you change into your shorts. <laughs> I'm going to turn this into the authorities first thing Monday morning. Yes. <laughs> Friday afternoon. <laughs> Wednesday. Right. As soon as I sync it with my computer. <laughs> As a matter of fact, all you guys, hand over your phone. <laughs> phone 7 a.m. last Thursday when he showed up for practice. The boy's mother says it was the night before when her son received the picture. She says the school principal told her she got a call at home about it that night, too. The boy's mom says the principal called police. I just want it to go away. I just right. don't want him to go through what he's going through. He's been... Um, he's been traumatized by this as well. Oh. Her son spent last night in juvenile detention, but has now been released by a judge. These kids are not looking at it as child pornography. Just pornography. These kids are, at this age, it's, they're curious. Well, I've never seen a case like this. The boy's attorney, Brent Bowen, yes. believes state statutes protect his client because he's in the same grade as the girl and falls within the required two years age difference. That's an affirmative defense. He says his client didn't ask the girl to send him the picture and that he didn't send it to anyone else. Wow, mm. this is a weird situation, huh? Yeah, he just got fucked. What happens if somebody just sends you a picture? Wow, you could really screw somebody big time. Mm -hmm. You send somebody a picture, and beforehand you call the cops and say there's a picture on someone's phone or something? Yeah. Oh, he was showing it around. You say something like that. You send him picture. Oh, but man, that's bad. The Hickey Jones says it all, though. The, this kid is clearly a pedophile. So <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> and then the end of the story here. Good news for everybody, right? The boy's mom believes the school overreacted. I feel betrayed by the school. As a mom, the principal could have called me and said, this is what I've been told. I'm not out to hurt your son. Or now, earlier today, Superintendent Jack Biggerstaff wouldn't discuss this case for privacy reasons, but he did acknowledge that he has spoken with the Sanger Police Department about this situation. He also says that a note did go home to all parents warning them about inappropriate use of cell phones. We call the Sanger Police Chief Curtis Amex, but he did not return our call. Of course not. John, John B. sent a link from Port Jeff. Uh... What? Click on it? <laughs> Virtually every high school girl in the world poses naked these days, and it turns up here. Oh, yeah? Might want to jot that link down mm. so we don't <laughs> go there by accident. That's right. We want to <laughs> alert, uh, you know, everybody in corporate yeah. to not go there. <laughs> right. And, you know, I mean, we get dead links all the time. Ait re ide incle aun de. If gay it gay ute ime au ne. Hot ease play. Oh, say ucking fe at ye. What? Why, why is. No, share! Wait, I, wait, wait a second. Uh, Danny, what do you mean, wait a second? <clears throat> it's, a, it's a weird, it's a really. Whoa, Jesus. It's. <laughs> Holy mother of fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a Holy shit. That's a legal shot. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Is the, is the that, that is the hottest picture I've ever seen, Beavis. <laughs> <laughs> is the, Beavis, we have found the best website ever. Is the superintendent's <laughs> name really Jack Biggerstaff? Jack Biggerstaff? Yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go Why right, does yeah. it always happen that way? Hmm. <laughs> Is this a legal sign? I don't know. We don't know. Uh, the, the girl was in a bikini. It's fine. Yeah. You know. I know the, the laws. <laughs> Who cares? She was sitting on a cock. Nah, just No. Just you find another one, Danny? I say we just do this for the rest of the show. It's research, right? It's weird because, I mean, I, there's nothing really hosted. So you, everything you have to click out to. Yeah. So I'm just trying to... And it, it seems to be like... These are definitely like pictures that the girls are taking and sending to guys, and this website happens to collect them all. There's no nudity. Not yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, spin that. Oh, no. All right, turn off instant feedback. Find a new one. The, the links are coming in. And so oh, is, Jesus. We really. Uh... High school's fine, by the way. <laughs> if, you know, they're stupid and we're left back. We're only looking for stupid naked girls. <laughs> of the left back variety? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. What do you got? Oh, well. uh, uh, Danny just goes, ooh. 
Go ahead, spin it around. Let's, oh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> spin, play a game. Spin that around. What, Russian roulette? <laughs> Wait a second. Ha, ha, ha. All right, let's see. Holy fuck! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Look, she's still got baby fat. Yeah. I don't know. That looks legal. I don't yeah, know. no, that, that looks fucking like at least 19. Kazakhstan. She has Snoopy on her pillowcase. It's probably <laughs> it's a child. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh, the nudists, not happy today. Because they want to vote, too. Because they're naked. Well, they yeah. want to vote. They look silly. They want to vote in the nude. Why? Wow, where are they going to put their car keys on the way to the voting booth? Ow. Well, uh, <laughs> don't borrow the know, car from them. The, right the disenfranchised, the poor, the naked. Caliente Resorts, north of Tampa, Florida, has approached election officials about the idea of creating a clothing optional polling site for nude voters. <laughs> Let freedom ring. Yes. Nothing in state law would prohibit this, but the supervisor of elections says he is opposed to creating any new precincts before redistricting in 2010. Personally, I think it's a great idea. With something like that, I'd be a lot less worried about, say, tampering. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Just put your stupid clothes on and go vote. Exactly. You have to vote naked, you asses. How much attention do you need? Do they have to be naked all the time? You get it. You like your penises. Stop it. <laughs> Gonna wave them all over the place when we're voting. Nudists. Enough. They're all messes too. Yeah. Nothing ever good to look at. They wonder why nobody likes them. It's like because you want to vote naked. Just put on your shorts and go vote. Yeah. yeah. Shut up. It's not about you. <laughs> it's uh, not about your nakedness. Uh. Yeah. You know what? Really fast. The Dominican story is really good. The Dominicans that were lost at sea. We were talking about you know uh, people eating their own. Flesh and other people's flesh. I lost two C in court. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> An horrific tale of survival for these migrants who say they had to resort to cannibalism to stay alive after weeks spent stranded at sea. The workers were part of a group of 33 people crossing the Mona Passage, a treacherous 160 mile stretch of open water between the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. They say the boat's engines conked out shortly into the journey, leaving their tiny wooden boat bobbing up and down in the Caribbean. Passengers started dying of dehydration, and after two weeks, those who were still alive began eating the dead. This man says he couldn't stand the thirst and hunger anymore. It was only a day after they began eating the dead that the five survivors were rescued last oh, Saturday shit. by a U.S. Coast Guard helicopter. How long oh, after? Died no. on Sunday. The after rest were two weeks. To a hospital back home in the Dominican Republic. Two weeks. They're at sea. Two weeks <laughs> stranded. They eat the dead people. The next day they're rescued. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. You have to wonder if one person said, look, I'll get on in a minute. Can I just finish my lunch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two giant balls that I've been eyeing up for two weeks. Another one of those stories that proves God has a sense of humor. Oh. That's a God thing. Come on. There it is. Take a bite. Take one a bite. bite. I'll send a, a bite. ship, Take you motherfuckers. Please, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, come is on. that God. good? Guy's fucking being rescued. He's being lowered into a lifeboat. He's got half a cock hanging out of his <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're rushing me. I'm going to get Ajita. <laughs> Lucky devil. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, massage customers are rubbed the wrong way. Oh, what does that mean? Want to go sexy? Yeah. All right, Dominicans eating. No. What? I the sexy. massage. The massage? Yeah, massage. All right, let's go with the massage. I've got many of them. Rubbed These the These stories are way. really hot when the, uh -huh. the woman uh, is getting... Uh -huh. Inappropriately touching. In this case, I think she uh -huh. didn't know how to <laughs> stop the guy oh, or something. Yeah. Here we go. The people who cut your hair or trim your nails have to be licensed. But the I-team learned that no state license, no training at all is required for someone who has you strip and lie down for a massage. Tonight, Jeanette Trumpeter tells us what you need to know to make sure you're not rubbed <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> As soon as it started, and he name. said, I think you have a really beautiful smile. Or has anyone ever told you you had a beautiful smile? And I felt uncomfortable. I should have gotten up right then and left. This one. So why didn't you? That Wait, this woman. Is that a guy? I don't know. What no, they're is. changing the voice, obviously. Oh, oh I didn't. Oh, stop. I, I felt uh, very violated. Sound like the world's uh, tallest woman. Yeah. She used to talk Would like you? that. Right. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Would you massage me?
I would massage me. <laughs> oh, massage me. Massage me so good. Oh. oh. <laughs> Best part of the movie. Uh, when she's screaming in that damn pit. And he just go. Oh. Yeah, because, yeah it's, it's really because he grabs the front of his shirt into points. Like, Pulls him out to make like breasts for breasts. himself. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to imitate her screaming. Fantastic clip. Mister, my mother's an LMT. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uncomfortable. I should have gotten up right then and left. Yes. This woman is disguised at her request. She won a massage as part of a health and wellness event. It was not what she expected. It was in the way he touched her. He was sitting in a chair, and then he took his other hand and he put it on top of my pelvis. Oh. As low as he could go. Oh, And he How just sat there go? looking at me. And in the things he said. That I was a beautiful girl that must have developed early, and that's why my shoulders were rounded or hunched oh. forward. And I'm thinking, oh my God, get me out of here, I'm being molested. When it was over, she wanted to report him, but couldn't because no one had licensed him. I think you got a little responsibility in this stuff. Of course you do. I mean, I... I this is Speak a, up. This Go, a, hey. There's a theme in this show today. What are you doing? I understand, you know, because I'm going to get the, the women coming out of the woodwork, but I understand you're in some situations that you're helpless, but... What, what, what is she doing? You have plenty of opportunities to get up. Yeah, or at least say, you know, you don't find what you're doing right here inappropriate. Yeah. Just, like, Something. put him on his guard. Put him on his guard right away. So what do we got so far going on? Because it gets better. Oh, does it? Yeah, so, so right. far, I... Let's hand hand uh, on her pelvic lower area. pelvis as low, low as, as low. he could get, and then talking about how she must have developed early right. because she, she's a little uh, you know slouched in the shoulders. <laughs> Probably a way to get in the you must have developed early line, but still try to sound professional. Like that's why you're slumped over. So, but I could fix that with some massage. Yeah, everything. yeah. You know he's trying. All right, Let, let's see what it takes for her to finally get up and leave. Yeah, or does she? I don't even know. For those cities that do license, the process varies from just paying a fee for a background check to proof of training by an accredited school. Boring. 400 exactly. hours of training, a million stuff. dollars in liability insurance, no a list cares. of references, no and a background cares. check. It broad. gives the city peace of what mind, and you a place to call to if a massage huh. seems questionable. What to the if it's something to do with um, an inappropriate touching or technique like that, maybe one of the investigators and I would go out and, and talk with the, the therapist. But just what is criminal when it comes to massage? In this woman's case, she didn't say anything to stop it. Or because of that, Lieutenant Nancy Dunlap in Minneapolis's sex crimes unit says it would be hard to prove what happened to her right. was a crime. because yeah, she didn't stop it. Why? Why? This isn't like a you know a rape where you go, oh my God, what was she wearing? What was she? You yeah. know, you don't uh, uh, take the victim and then turn it around like that. Uh, but. This woman, I mean, you're you're in a place of business. You're being massaged. He gets inappropriate. You you speak up. Next thing you know, the guy's hands smells like a California roll. <laughs> <laughs> if you go into uh, get getting your hair styled, ladies, and a woman took out uh, clippers and just started going down to your scalp, would you wait until you're completely bald before you go? Hey. You know, I don't think I appreciate this haircut. <laughs> you know, the second you get, you'd be like, stop. You would get up. Yeah. That's the situation. You're so right. Dummy. It's got to be good today, man. <laughs> the mystery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to move on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can't <laughs> count. I just know I took, I think it was a lot or a few. <laughs> <laughs> Big mystery. The vagueness. <laughs> Just come quick. I don't know how much time I have left. I, you don't know much of anything. By the you? way, I got a gun in front of me, too. What kind of gun? I don't know. It could be an AK-7 or a water pistol. I'm not really sure. It's like a, a staple gun <laughs> right. or a 357 Magnum One, any, or anything in between. Why does it have to be a mystery? I don't know. Because life's a mystery, isn't it? <laughs> As is what's on the other side of it. But I'll find out soon. Or maybe Unless you get here. <laughs> right. It's all in your hands now. Keys under the mat. Let yourself in. Right. I'm making coffee now. <laughs> I know it's going to hit me any minute. Or at least I think. Mm. Oh, right. We get it. Then you stay up all night having coffee and talking over the problems. 
Don't worry, tomorrow will be a new day. Uh, we'll we'll take care of this. The sun will come out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Can no, I you're going to be all right. Now? Can I go home? Yeah, yeah. can I leave? <laughs> all right. I, uh, yeah, I'll be all right. All right. Ugh. I guess. Then you try everything and nothing works. Sorry. Uh, more about the massage lady. With more people trying massage for the first time, many may not know what is and isn't appropriate. Ah. It's all about comfort. What? Yankee cranky. What is she talking? You know. Is there ever a guy complaining? Never. That Never. it's like, hey, that, you're a little too close to uh, the area that really feels good when you touch it. I'm going to call the authorities. <laughs> There's a there's a part of my body that feels better than any other part when touched. You're getting a little close to that. I just thought I'd tell you so you can feel free to get as close as you like. Right. <laughs> with, with anything. Why waste you may time not on know. the shoulders and back? You want the, you want me to be relaxed? Yeah. You rub that one muscle. Three minutes later, I'm Sam sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> You've saved fifty seven minutes. You can I relax. don't know. I'm tired. I got a massage and she did something to me. <laughs> right. How many uh you know how many times did her hand move? I don't know. It was quite a few or a few. <laughs> I don't well, did... <laughs> I don't even think I can do the rest of the show now because it's all a mystery, isn't it? Well, did you? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, there's a towel involved, and did he put his some cleaning? Did he put his? Wait, wait. Did he put his in your or what? <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> People trying massage for the first time, many may not know what is and isn't appropriate. It's all about comfort level for the guest. So if you're feeling uncomfortable, you perhaps should decide to end that. Yes. But the young woman we interviewed yeah, we says that's harder than you might think. And so be prepared. That's not really my personality to just lay there and take it. But I think I was just stunned because I thought, this is really weird. And how weird does it have to be for me to... Get up and walk out. That weird. Wow. As weird as it got. How, what is wrong with her? The minute you're uncomfortable, stop. Yeah, or just at least say something. Right. What is she talking about? I'll tell you what. I stopped a, a male massage therapist one time. I'm sure. No, no, no. It was, it was, I got a weird, a creepy vibe, and I just, I got up, and I'm like, ah, man, I can't. Uh, and I, I, I actually stopped the massage. It was very quickly into it, and I realized the guy was a big, fat fruit. Where are you going? No, no, it was, it was, I was like, ah, man, I just can't. Get it back on the table, sweetie. <laughs> it's okay. He hadn't done anything inappropriate. I'm just going to pull the towel down and feel a little <laughs> bit of your upper buttocks. Uh, you seem a little tense in that area. Yeah, that's it. What's your name, Jimmy? Uh, that's a cute name. <laughs> it creeps me out. Yes. So, <laughs> no, it was nothing that overt. It was no? Not, no. What no, no. what kind of creeped you out? It was Because you said you've had male massage and masseuses. That were fine. And, and it's fine. What's the difference? What creeped you out if he didn't touch you inappropriately? Just, I think the softness of the voice. It was, uh, oh. I was, I was draped and everything. There was nothing. It wasn't like, it was just a vibe. And I'm like, man, you know, I can't do this, man. I just, I get, I, I just yeah. have, to have some excuse. It he, wasn't he was like nude. No, 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 no. <laughs> no that would have been a good little giveaway. <laughs> hey, what is this thing you're putting on my shoulder, you devil? He's nude, massaging his shoulders from like in front of you. Yeah, <laughs> so no, 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 no. Just, <laughs> my God, nothing that hot. How Jesus. great would that be? And you're just like, is this inappropriate? I'm not really sure if this is inappropriate. Like, I, I, don't I don't know, know. if I should leave or not. Yeah. Stupid broad. It's also oh, aromatherapy. Leave. I'm smelling <laughs> onions. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is this really the way? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Didn't need a tonsil massage. Those feel fine. <laughs> hey, I always thought like uh, the guys got the inappropriate massages, but uh, at least in Ohio, wow! I want to hear more about this one. I had an inappropriate massage uh, once, but I loved it. She wow! Writes. I thought only dudes Dirty. got happy endings. Dirty. It was fabulous. She writes, "Dirty girl." Wow. Yeah, those are one in a million, though. It's not worth taking a shot if you're one of these masseuse guys uh, to try to, you know. Yeah, when do you make that move? Because, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's the appropriate, inappropriate line to me, I think, in a massage. And I'm not very familiar with massages at all. But I, I know, like, the guys will uh, massage a girl and, and get the back of her thighs. And... Uh, there's a, 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 a when is it? Is it the br Is it the thumb brush? <laughs> the thumb brush? Because that's a move you do in bed. 
Yeah. That's like a, a you know, you with a girl maybe the first time. You're kind of feeling around, getting things, and then you might rub the thighs and then go for the thumb brush. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a simple th- and see and see if there's any elevation. <laughs> you know, if if the ass comes off the mattress a little bit, yeah. If the thumb brush gives a response where it's like oh, like a cat. When you pet a cat down its spine. <laughs> Who's the guy that jammed his thumb in a pie or in a pumpkin or a, or yes. a plum? Jack Spratt? Jack no. Sprout, of no, who is that? No? Peter, 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 Peter Pumpkin Eater? No. 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 Who put his thumb in a pie and pulled out a plum? <laughs> Tom, Tom the Piper's son. Tom, Tom, the what? what? Tom, 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 no. The no. No. Tom, no. Each, who? Not a Little Piper's Jack son. Horner sat in a corner. Uh, no, no, eating his curtain. Off. No, that's, no. His that's one of those stories. No, Little Jack it. Horner. Jack Sprack could eat no fat. Oh, Ted, Ted in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Ted. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum. Uh huh. Hmm. You know, getting back to your massage thing, I think if a woman yeah. agrees to a massage, yeah. not not a professional, like if you're like kind of like hoping to to put get in some... his meatus and outfell a fetus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It was Jack Horner. Oh, uh, Jack Horner is coming Horner. in, Aunt. It's Jack Horner. Little Jack Horner. But I think if a, a woman agrees to a massage in that situation, I'm not talking at a at a, a massage place, that she's looking for action. And she's yeah. uncomfortable and looking for, like, the icebreaker. Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't think most women would agree to just a massage, like, you know what I mean? If you women get, get a lot of those. Uh... No, I mean, like, if, I, if you're, like, kind of on the dating scene, you bring a woman back to your place, you're like, you want a massage, I think 9 out of 10, they're, like, also looking for action, and they're looking for the... The ice oh, oh, if you're just giving a massage and then they leave, like, kind of a thing? I don't think that is yeah. the reason why most women no, agree to a massage to in that house circumstance. For a massage. Right. You know, unless uh, oh, something's oh. going on, I guess. What, what happened? What? Is that it? What? What? What happened? Is that Little Jack Horner? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And how does it go? Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating a Christmas pie. He Christmas put, pie? He put in his thumb and he took out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. Aw. He's like a good Jimmy. Boy. Jack yes. Horner sucks. <laughs> no, he doesn't. There was a plum in the pie to him. He had to get it. Go play Call of Duty. A what are you plum. doing putting fingers in pies? He put his thumb in a pie and pulled out a full plum. Yeah. What a piece of, of crap pie that is. No, it was an apple pie, and someone had dropped a plum in it, and Jack went, I'll get it. My thumb is a good, it's a plum attractor. <laughs> My thumb. Smack him. Hey. It's like, who put their thumb in a pie? I wanted a piece of this. It's now a, it's all contaminated. Or it was plum pie, so that it was just, it had a little bit of goo and pie crust. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the plums? He's got two thumbfuls. <laughs> Chocolatey orbs. <laughs> <laughs> Cocoa, I thought. No. Cocoa orbs. Cocoa orbs. orbs. Meet Elizabeth uh, Freisinger, I'm going to say. Meet Elizabeth Freisinger. She lost her virginity and accidentally texted her dad. Pretty rare for this vicinity. Quint. Oh, that little rhyme he did. I should have known that one. Virginity. I should have known that one. I'm going to be depressed all day now. Saved her virginity to 103. Nah, I don't remember the actual poem, though. Damn it. Me neither. Eh, screw it. <laughs> well, 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 why don't we meet uh, Elizabeth Freisinger, okay? Let's, let's meet her. That's what the, the headline says. Meet Elizabeth Lizzie Freisinger, 18. Isn't she precious? Aw. That's what it, I'm just reading. Is there a picture? Yeah, she's hot. She's uh, she's eight. She's eight. Oh, why don't I have these pictures? Um, because you're not privileged enough to have them. You know, it is ridiculous. Uh, this should be um, right on top. It's in your pile. It probably isn't. It's in your pile of stories. stories. And ignores his pile. Yeah, he doesn't look at, his, never pile. at his pile. Why would he? I, I, I Why the, would he? Why would you look at your the pile? Pictures? I don't see this picture in my pile. You, you got Ant's pile. You got a pile of yeah. stories every morning you could leaf through there. Look Anthony. Piles. And then we see which ones we like and we go with. So today we decided to sex it up a little bit for everybody. Oh, my God. I know. We'll get to that part. Oh, my God. Don't do God. the big reveal yet, Ant. No, Please not, don't do I'm it. I'm not, but I'm just looking, and oh, my God. <laughs> you see the abrupt uh, changing of the subject? Here we go. Meet Elizabeth Lizzie Freisinger, 18. Isn't she precious? She's also mind-blowingly stupid, but not according to Jim Norton. Nope, Jimmy thinks all, that this is uh, very easy to do. Yep. Elizabeth, a senior in Cleveland. Let's uh, get her on the phone. Went on a class trip where she lost her virginity on the beach. Apparently, it was GR8. 
Oh, yeah? What was the name of the John and K plus eight book? I don't want to forget that. Oh, bless me. <laughs> bless me. She said it was great. Grimber. <laughs> <laughs> what does grimber mean? <laughs> Uh, we know this because young Lizzie was so excited about the, her conquest, she texted her friend. Except it wasn't her friend. She accidentally texted her dad. Ow! Class trip finished. Cue a slap to the forehead and widespread humiliation on the interwebs. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. The, the only person that would spread this... Uh and a man in my position <laughs> can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had, and I've had them all over the world. <laughs> All right, now I'm really confused. So you're a girl, you lose your virginity, you text it to your dad by accident. How are we reading about this today? Unless uh, unless you texted it to a whole bunch of people and they went, oh, my God, you also texted it to your dad? Let me read more and see if we can get to the bottom of this. Uh, since then, a pic of Elizabeth's iPhone below has been doing the rounds of the Internet, and a classmate of hers leaked her senior year picture to a Cleveland radio station to complete the story. Enjoy your 15 minutes of fame, Lizzie. We are sure this will help you win friends at Syracuse, where she has uh, early acceptance. As yet, uh, no name or photos have appeared of the lucky man. Um, I'm thinking <coughs> she um, somebody took a picture of it. She was like, could you believe what I did? Oh, my God. And then someone went, oh, oh crap, let me take a picture of that. Yeah. And then took a picture of it. And then uh, spread it around. Yeah, spread it around. Yeah, because the dad's not spreading this around. Like, look at no. Look at my uh, lovely daughter. What she's no. up to. Well, I when I oh. when I heard it. Uh -huh. Can I? I want to read the text, and then oh, yeah. we want to get to you, Jimmy, because uh, Jimmy's going to you know defend this a little bit. So uh, they got a picture of the iPhone, and up top it says "Dad." So obviously she's texting Dad by accident. You know what? I'm calling shenanigans. I was thinking Bravo Sierra myself. Yeah. Why do you? Why are you saying it? Uh, just because it's on the net. Actually, before that, I was thinking. Yeah, it. yeah. You know what I'm saying it for? Uh, she's got AT and T service, and I see five bars of uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> A little cell phone joke for everybody. Yeah. Uh, it says "Dad" at the top, and the first text is Lizzie, and she writes "OMG," which is "Oh my God." We all know that. Yes. Just had first time on beach. G R eight. Exclamation point. Yep. Wish you were here. That's what she wrote. Yeah. The the uh, returning text says, <clears throat> I'm, I'm assuming this was intended for someone else, Lizzie. At that point, Lizzie's like, no. And then she looks and goes, oh, my God, I just texted my dad. Yeah. So then Lizzie, uh, quick on her feet, she writes back, class trip is over no, tomorrow. Doesn't. No, no, this is the father again. He's continuing to write to her. Oh, oh, is that how that works? Okay, yes. I'm really sorry, Jimmy. So he continues by saying, class trip is over tomorrow, 7, 10 a.m., Delta flight number. Use my credit card for taxi. She, uh, He wants her out of there. He is pissed. Yes, get home. Immediately. I have another reason for shenanigans. Okay. Yeah. Now that I'm looking at this a little uh -huh. further. Uh -huh. All right. So she texts the father, and the fi and I, like with the iPhone. If uh, if you're having a text with somebody, there won't be a timestamp. But if there's if there's a big enough gap between communications, yeah, it'll re timestamp. Yes, it will. Uh, you know when a communication comes in. So you're to tell me that she texted her father by accident, and within a few minutes was able to book a flight and text it back no, to her no, no, with, no, no, without no. a timestamp oh. ever coming up. Yeah, uh, exactly. That, that might have... Uh... How quick on his feet was he to book her a flight in, almost instantaneously? Because there's never... there's never. I mean, if, if I leave my iPhone for two minutes without a text and then someone texts me, it'll update the timestamp to... Yep. You know, so... I know exactly what you mean. What you mean. But sometimes there has to be a big gap. Here's, you're right, but I've had this thing with the She's iPhone. She's a virgin. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, what did I say? You're talking about... Oh, big gap! I'll have this. Uh, old you. I'll open this. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I will a lot of times uh, open my iPhone, and the way your text works, you have a bunch of your names, and the beginning of each text is listed. So, say I open it up to my uh, my friend who I was talking to, uh, Bill Shatner, and I'll. Uh, oh, certainly not. And I'll text something, and I'll send it, and then I'll realize that even though his name was at the top, yeah, something in the computer on the com phone had messed it up. And it's been sent to the wrong person. Many times I've gone to open one, and I hit the name, uh, like one name here, page. Open it. Boop. Different 
text from somebody else. Yes. It screws it up. And I've had that happen a lot, so I'm always very careful about what I text. I have texted the wrong person. And I, I know, believe, I know how to read. Yeah. Um, you know, I know if there's, you know, a big TS at the beginning of their name, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, so that, that happens. And the timestamps, you'll get a timestamp, but a lot of times if you text someone twice in a row, yeah. like it was her text and her dad, and then he texted, then he texted, and the timestamp was not, gap was not that big, that mm -hmm. that could show up without a timestamp. Uh, you know what else I've had happen on the iPhone? Where you uh, type in your text, you send it, uh, you get a text from somebody else. And then the text you just sent is in the box the send waiting box. to be sent to this new person. Many times. What? The thing you just sent to the yeah, yeah, right person? You. I'm just saying what to Is now sitting it. there. Wow. Waiting to be sent. You got to, you know, backspace and, and delete the entire text before you t type in something uh, different. If you hit send accidentally, you'll send it to another person. Not with the Blackberry, my friend. There is a, a little uh, bug. I love that they the got to fix with that. I love the blackberry. With that little Ugh. problemo. So, uh, I, yeah, I don't know, man. Something seems fishy with this whole thing. Stays in the scent box, too. Yeah. It would have been hot, what? though. In a text? Shut up. If yeah. uh, if, <laughs> if she uh, wrote, oh, my God, I just had the first time wish you were here, and he wrote, I assume this was intended for someone else, Lizzie, and she went, no, Dad, it wasn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> no Daddy. No, no, Daddy. I've been watching you from afar. Anthony, here lies the body of Mary Lee, died at the age of 103. Uh -huh. For 15 years, she kept her virginity. Not a bad record for this, for this vicinity. vicinity. There you go. Hey, Chiefy, don't forget your rubbers. <laughs> <laughs> what part was that? That was when they were loading up the boat, the orca to go out, and, um, and uh, you know, uh, Brody's wife was all freaking out that he was going, and he was just, you know, Yelling like a crazy man, Captain Quint. Yeah. And he uh, blurted that little poem out. In the book, she had sex with uh, Hooper. With Hooper. With uh, Richard Drivers' character. Yes. She had an affair with him. Really? And uh, I think he died in the book, too. Uh, yes, he did. I do remember that. Well, that's... Uh, yeah, he got et. According to Peter Benchley. I'm not reading that et. stupid book, then. <laughs> wow. <laughs> not reading a 35-year-old <laughs> book. Congrats. <laughs> Some some uh, books you don't need to read after you see the movie. You're like, wow, this is really good. I don't I don't need a different version of this. I um I do remember uh, being a, a youngster in in school and seeing some uh, girl carrying around the book Jaws, and I looked at the the cover and I remember saying to myself, I go that looks so stupid. I go. I, I just. I couldn't imagine anyone w being entertained by anything like that. Was was uh, the book cover the girl swimming naked? Yeah, it was pretty much the same thing. Oh, I thought you were going to say uh, you were thinking to yourself that you could, you know, take oh, care of yourself it? to that. Yeah, yeah, you know, you could. Going back to yesterday's show or Chrissy the day before. Was great. Mm. You know, the shark was like picking, <laughs> picking his teeth after being done with that. Nineteen seventy, whatever. <laughs> They didn't know what they found on the beach when they saw that pile of seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was no shaving accident. <laughs> yes, this wasn't Juan Epstein's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the little white lion cub born at the zoo in Serbia. That's cute. Look at him. He can barely walk. So it'll be lopping people's heads off. Yeah, That's sure. Wonderful. He's cute now. Fast forward six months, he's he's sucking a jugular dry. <laughs> <to> some zookeeper. <laughs> I saw a great clip last night. Like I said, I spent just hours just perusing videos last night. This dummy, and of course it is. It's in some former Soviet crap hole country, uh, is feeding a bear that is uh, chained up to a tree. And this woman is just out of range of the bear, and she's holding this food up with her arm really extended. And the bear would, like, get up, but but it's chained, and uh, she would drop the food in the bear's mouth. Not understanding the concept of reach, <laughs> because the bear at one point gets up on his hind legs, and she's holding up, and the chain is taut against the, uh, the bear's neck in the tree. The bear cannot move any further forward. But she's standing there with a the little treat. The bear sticks his claw out and grabs her and pulls her nice. right into him. Oh, oh with game him, you over. just hear her go, ah! And the bear's just slapping her around. And then, of course, the trainer comes in with some stick. Yeah. And the bear let go. But 
Oh, was she surprised? Uh, here it is. <laughs> oh, it is. nice. Oh, it's fantastic. Can we get that up on the website there, Stunt oh. Brain? Yeah. Ondayradio.com. Good. Is wow. That, I don't even think that's... Yeah, there, there it is. Oh, look, at bear, look at this. Look at the bear. Look at the bear's reach. Hey, I got you. Oh, wow. Hey, why don't nice. you come over here and uh, maybe I'll have you as a treat. He grabbed her jacket. Yep. And those claws pulled her right in. Look look at that. Is he biting her? Or biting just... her arm. Trying to. Maybe just sniffing her armpit. It's got a fetish. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> a little bear fetish. <laughs> and are you a fan of nature? I'm a fan of when uh, fire wins. I'm a fan when animals win. Oh, absolutely. I'm a fan when nature in general wins. I saw another one where this guy uh, with a bow and arrow um, shot a moose, a big moose in, right. uh, in, in the shoulder. And the moose just turned around and ran right at this guy. <laughs> he missed him. But, man, was he pissed. Moose said, you're not getting away with this one. And moose are giant. They yeah. are they're, they're like, people don't understand. It's not like a deer with big antlers. These things are huge. You ever seen one? Not live. I, when we were Maybe living, at the zoo. No, when I was living in uh, Boston, I saw one. Yeah, they'd show Driving up, up in... Uh, <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> pigs. Them, them pigs. Yeah. yeah. And they would try to have sex with us, right, Ed? <laughs> yes. But well, we were good boys. Of course we were. How dummies. stupid were we back then? <laughs> uh, I, no, I saw a moose on the side of the highway driving through New Hampshire. They're, <laughs> like you just said, they're you can't yeah. even comprehend how giant these things are. Giant animals, those moose. Just moose. giants. I had a problem with a moose one time. It was, what? So, it was an altercation at a Burger King. I felt that he cut me, and he said I was here first with my friend. I said, no, you weren't. You're a wild animal. <laughs> and he said, boo. <laughs> Be more funny. <laughs> so we got to squeeze one more thing, and then we're going to give um, give the show to these guys till noon, until Ron Fez, noon to three. Uh, Planned Parenthood gift certificates. <laughs> Jesus. This is the story of the day. That's how busy we're, we were today. Yes. We couldn't even get to the story of the day. Listen to this. There is another potential stocking stuffer that is causing an outcry. Holiday gift certificates from Planned Parenthood. As you might imagine, abortion <laughs> opponents are not in the holiday spirit. The press release calls it the perfect holiday solution, one that allows you to give the gift of life to your loved ones. Yeah. But critics of these Planned Parenthood gift certificates say nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, gift certificates and coupons are meant to increase business. They're in the business of abortion, so it's impossible to say that they want to do anything but drive business to their abortion <laughs> business centers. But Planned Parenthood officials say their hope is that patients who are struggling to cover the cost of health care will receive and use these certificates to get basic checkups and tests. They concede certificates could be redeemed for any service, including abortion. Yeah, they're doing like morning zoo promos. Oh, dude, I would fucking airdrop these over certain neighborhoods. <laughs> I would fucking get a C-130 and throw them out the back. Uh, that's, a, that's, yeah. a, that's just a great gift. Merry Christmas, you fucking yeah. whore. You Drop it like like the Joker at the end of Batman yeah. when the money's just yeah. falling yeah. from the bucket. Have a it. parade and just throw it at people. That's it. Here's your abortion <laughs> gift certificate. You fucking, yeah, you're a slut. This says you're a slut. And if by an off chance you get pregnant, I know you're not responsible enough to take care of it. So here's Although the, what then I think the other it. side, it's man. I mean, that's, that's uh, finally people doing something about the population problem. You know who could have used one of these? The mom. <laughs> the mom. Down at the abortion clinic. They called it the perfect holiday <laughs> solution. Got the too. Hey, Stacy, I got a birth. I got a uh, abortion certificate. For Christmas. <laughs> My brother gave it to me. <laughs> we'll get one of those abortions. Yeah. I won't have to sell the tickets. <laughs> yeah. Jackson Brown. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hey, you you, you, care you, she... you, you, uh, you wanted it more than I did. All right, I take it back. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just kick you in the guts? <laughs> exactly. You fucking slut. Listen, baby, I don't got a gift certificate, but here's some steps. <laughs> <laughs> we got the name and fuck rat. We got more on the story here. The certificates, in denominations from twenty-five to one hundred dollars each, are available for use at a number of clinics in Indiana and Illinois, and a handful of others around the country. You think you get a, a better abortion for a hundred dollars? Because they give uh, $100 twenty-five abortion. dollar certificates and $100 certificates. Oh, you got to get the $100 abortion. You don't want the $25 <laughs> abortion. Jesus Christ, they leave an arm in there or some shit. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's, that's like that hanger. What's yeah. that Stephen King book? The, 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 where the guy is, Yeah, the dark, the dark half. half. Yeah. God damn it. Quit getting to my references before <laughs> I can get there. <laughs> damn it. <laughs>
of others yeah, around the country. Out. Planned Parenthood offers contraception and routine medical exams and says less than 5% of its clientele gets abortions. Even Indiana's health commissioner has deemed the certificates a, quote, really meaningful gift. Planned Parenthood says in that state alone, some 800,000 people are uninsured and unable to afford basic health services. So people are making really tough decisions about putting gas in their car and food on the table. So we know that many women especially put health care at the bottom of their list of things to do. <laughs> the bottom of the, an abortion at the bottom of the list. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I think you better uh, put that at the yeah, top of the list. Right? Pretty, pretty lickety split. Well, okay. Gee, where'd, where'd you put that aborted baby in the hamper? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think the critics are saying? Uh, <laughs> they don't like it. But critics call the concept of giving a gift that could lead to an abortion especially offensive at a time when millions are preparing to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. I think they're offending um, all Americans. I think beyond uh, all. Christians, don't people speak that for don't me. She just spoke for Christmas everybody. As she as just a... fucking spoke for everybody. That's what they do in, the in these groups. Three hundred million people. She just fucking that's, spoke that's what for. They do with these I'll tell you groups. what. We would have been so lucky if Mary had one of these fucking certificates. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> See you, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck yourself, Jesus. There you go. Christmas, Merry fucking Christmas. Like an abortion, please. <laughs> what? She just said for everybody. For every Amer this, I think this offends every American. She, excuse me, I'm not offended. Yeah, we can't find one in the studio. And you're right fucking now. speaking for every American. What a pompous, fucking delusional uh, a douche. You're a sinner. I like how you can sinner. use him. No, I'm a sinner. You can you're a use sinner. Him. Yeah. You have the devil in you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't deny it. It's the taking of the life. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Did they actually kill the kid Christmas with the little... As... Oh, they, sorry. They kill the unborn fetus. They give a little paper cut with the uh, coupon. Oh, is that you how they do it? Yeah, they swipe, swipe it, it through? There, yeah. <laughs> Slice, swipe Jesus. through her vagina and hopefully yeah, the that little baby magnetic strip jugular. sucks them out. They should do Ho that. Hope where the kid was getting curious. <laughs> they should do that like when you get an abortion, it's like hiring a hitman to kill your wife. How do you want me to do it? You know, I can use yeah. piano wire. I can yeah. shoot him in the back <laughs> oh, of the skull. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he thinks he's being born. He comes out. Oh no! Yeah, like, <laughs> like Pesci. Oh shit! Yeah, he's at the fucking yeah. abortion clinic instead of the hospital. <laughs> what happened today? Did everything go good with the birth? Eh, we had a little problem. Ah, there's nothing we could do about it. Your baby's it. gone. There was nothing we could do. <laughs> I thought I was being yeah, born. Motherfuckers! <laughs> I thought I was being born. It was just a gay guy hey, shoving see? a jar up his yeah. ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> he's uh, he's gone. Hole. He didn't make it, and then there's, uh, there's nothing back. we can do. And there's nothing. We can do. Hey, right. that. Let's listen to the rest of the credits here. I think beyond uh, Christians, people that don't celebrate celebrate Christmas as a religious holiday are still going to be offended by yeah. this, because mm. most people do not support the idea of a of a gift certificate for abortion. <laughs> Planned Parenthood is no stranger she, to controversy point, this though. time of year. Since the <laughs> mid '90s, the organization has sold its Choice on Earth holiday cards, a twist on the Peace on Earth message from the New Testament book of Luke. It's a move the American Life Luke. League calls bigoted mockery. Mm. Look, this economy is hitting every business really hard, and you have yeah. to come up with new ways of creating revenue streams. Getting mm -hmm. some fucking people uh, in the door. Get some people in the door. If you fucking put out abortion gift certificates, so be it. So be it is right. Who are we to say what businesses can you know what can't really, put out gift certificates? What if you have money left over from the gift certificate? <laughs> what if the abortion <laughs> yeah. only costs? Uh, yeah. <laughs> every, every five, you get a free one. Yeah, do they have other things you can buy? You just got to, all right, I, I guess I'll take five condoms. Um, uh, Are you gonna, something there, one of those sponges. You got to sit there and go, can I just have the $7? No, we can't. We got to, no. you got to use it at the uh, store. Sorry. All right, could you scrape a little more? <laughs> Maybe you left something behind. Yeah, more and more teens are having, uh, mm -hmm. having what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you it's know, we started hum the humming contest. We started the, uh, we started mm -hmm. the Anthony Quiz thing yesterday. Why don't you guess? More and more teens are having, Huh. These days. Uh, sex. Oh, uh, well, that is a given. That's the obvious. What kind, my friend? I would say <laughs> uh, sex of the variety where you can't have a discussion during uh, during it. Nope. No? <gasps> Wait a minute. There... Sex where you can't have a discussion because uh, someone's face is in the pillow? Yep. Wow. Naughty, naughty. 16? Probably 16, eh? That's probably the going age for the teenager. Are you having kidding? this type of sex, I would imagine. They're doing that. Is it because they're saving uh, the other one for marriage? Who is the lucky devil that had to do the research for this story? You know. Well, I mean, these stories just don't come out of nowhere. Dude, how <laughs> off limits was that? How off limits was that? 
In high school, forget about it. It wasn't even like in the discussion. Here, here you are. <laughs> um, I'm worried. Last. <laughs> hey, do you think? Um. Oh God. <laughs> this is so good. God, you're you're fantastic. Do you think I could <laughs> you in the? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> right, you could have just said no. When we were growing up, if we suggested that, the girl would think you were a serial killer. Of course, and then you'd have to be. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, they, would, they wouldn't even think twice. They would no. think you were some animal. They were pinned to the mat. Well, you want there me to... was no way they were to turn them over. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to read this uh, story nice and slow? Please do. All right, Ed. <laughs> um, can we say that word or probably not, huh? I don't think so. We all know what we're talking about, right? All right. How about every time I point to you, you could beep or something? Study reports. Study reports. Study reports. That, um, sex. On rise among teens. That's right. A Colorado, carry a Colorado student who has been in a steady relationship for months. Was, Can't sit down? <laughs> <laughs> Is that part of the story? Was recently cajoled. Cajoled? C A J O L E D, mm -hmm. cajoled by her boyfriend into some sexual experimentation. Into speaking Greek? He wanted to try. Sex. And even though the 20 year old said she was okay with the idea, she nervously downed several drinks before their lovemaking began. <laughs> Good egg. Yep. That's what you got to do, man. That's what I did the first time I had to. Give <laughs> me a Seagram 7 and a prune juice. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a good egg! Give me a concoction called the Gaper. <laughs> I guess she's she's heard the stories. It's just a it's yeah. just a mystery. <laughs> just something to you know loosen yourself up with figuratively and literally. <laughs> Within 15 seconds, Carrie, not her real name, said she was crying and asking him to stop. <laughs> ah, come on, you killjoy! You can't yeah. stop at that point. <laughs> That's where, as a guy, you just got to go, <laughs> You have to whisper, where's your stick to <laughs> Yeah, come on. They never did it again, but experts say that as social morales ease, more young heterosexuals are engaging in... Sex. A behavior once rarely mentioned in polite circles. Yes. <laughs> We're impolite, whatever circles. Uh, in, in polite... In... New word, polite yeah. circles. Okay, recently, researchers at the Bradley Hasbro Children's Research Center in Rhode Island, God, lucky devils at this place, yeah, huh? huh? Uh, suggested that... Oh, sex. ...is on the rise among teens and young adults, particularly those who have unprotected uh, regular sex. Wow. Experts say girls and young women like Carrie are often persuaded to try sexual behavior for the wrong reasons, to please a partner, to have sex without the risk of pregnancy, mm. or to preserve their virginity. Yes. But many don't understand the health consequences. What? What kind of health consequences? Mm. Don't ruin this. All right, I'll skip that paragraph. <laughs> and when women engage in... Sex. Tissue may tear more readily, causing direct blood exposure to infected fluids. Wow. Yes. Saw that coming. Uh, young adults confirm the reports of a rise in... Sex. Including the perception that it's safe. I know some teens who did it just to try, and some who didn't have a condom available, said one 18-year-old Californian who did not want her name used. Mm. I think that it's less taboo simply because people are more open to trying new things, said her 23-year-old sister. Wow. The younger crowd might be scared by the idea of getting pregnant, so they assume it's safer. It takes a great amount of trust to try something new with somebody that you may or may not like, she said. Mm. I'd consider it if there was a ring on my finger. Uh. Otherwise, I feel I'd be losing some of my dignity as a woman. Well, you would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's be uh, honest here. <laughs> in the Hasbro study, I like they have to keep it. Hasbro. In the... Hasbro? Isn't that a toy company? Yes, it sure is, Anthony. <laughs> Hasbro. It sure is. <laughs> In the Hasbro study, females who had sex were more likely to be living with their partners to have two or more to have two or more sexual partners to have previously experienced coerced. What? This sentence doesn't make sense, does it? In the Hasbro study, females who had eight uh uh, the, uh, 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 uh sex right were more likely to be living with their partners, to live with their partner, comma 
to have two or more sexual partners and to have previously experienced coerced intercourse. Okay. Okay, so they had had a couple of partners already. Right. They live with their current partner. Right, there you go. And they were coerced into some kind of sex they didn't want to have. Right. Males who engaged in this behavior were more likely to identify themselves as being... Homo. Homosexual? Bisexual. Oh. Or, or undecided. Well, that's kind of... That is risky behavior if you're, you know, switching. you switch hitter. Uh, oh. Sex. Statics in, uh, statistics indicate that a generational change has occurred. Mm. Uh, where people born in the 1980s and later may be more comfortable admitting to or showing interest in... Sex. Experts attribute interest in the behavior among heterosexuals mm. in part... To the proliferation of pornography in the 1990s. Mm. As with other sex uh, trends, girls are more open to experimentation because pornography has become so easily accessible on websites like, mm. and they give all the fun websites. Fun, fun sites. Blank tube, blank tube. Yeah. A lot of blank tubes and blank porns. Mm. Found sites and foundry. Ah. Oh. But with fewer educational media outlets and less sex education, young girls are clueless about hygiene, possible bladder or vaginal infections, and life-threatening diseases like... Dinner! AIDS! Ah! Right. It's very... Uh, I, was, I was reading some stats last night, and it is very difficult for heteros strictly heterosexual people um, to, to uh, transmit AIDS. Unless, you know, you're an IV drug user or something like that. If you're just hetero, you go wild. You don't have much to worry about, right? Yeah, and if your sexual partners have been, you know, of a similar ilk, mm -hmm. you know, if you're not running around with a, the fast crowd, um, you're pretty much all right. It's... We're hearing, by the way, the speech that Anthony has given to many on different occasions. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, please don't think I mean this as fact. No, I was just showing you how I operate. <laughs> so Anthony Newton, like, laying on the side in the pillow going, yeah. Uh, no, it's, you know, it's nothing. It's, uh, here, here you go. Let me show you something I printed out. <laughs> Looks like someone had a little paranoia last night. I had to look up some stats. Looking up some stats. <laughs> Uh-oh. Breaking sex news. It's all about the sex today on the Opie and Anthony show. There's no problem with that. We got another teacher having sex with a uh, student. You never hear about this. I don't know. You're not going to hear this in the mainstream, uh, mainstream media, but we love these stories. Because it just brings us back to being, you know, teenage boys filled with you-know-what. <laughs> yeah. Wanting to get rid of you-know-what. And it's safe to say that pretty much every guy listening to this show wouldn't mind this happening when they were 15 or 16. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. Well, this is 17, apparently. Right. I mean, I guess there is a double standard when you hear about 15-year-old girls having sex with, like, um, male teachers. There's more of an outrage, I guess. But, guys, you know, we're hoping for this. Every day we go to school, we're hoping for this. I'd love to read this, but it's uh, printed... Uh, a the writing is, is like fortune cookie writing. Yeah. There is the f it's the text is so small on what is printed here. Well, Ann, I'll take it's care of nearly unreadable. No, I'll take care of this one being the uh, the youngest one on the show. What? Yeah. Oh, you had your eyes done. Shut up. <laughs> 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 if I could read with my follicles, I'd be the best reader. <laughs> yeah, I got pretty much x-ray vision from uh, getting yeah. my eyes done. I think you need to read this font. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's well, horribly small. Would you have magnifying glasses put in your head? <laughs> this font stinks. Look, I'll tell you right now, they're not even advertising today, but uh, this reading, courtesy of Diamond Vision. Yes. That's right, people. Sure. I had horrible eyes, no glasses, no contacts. At the time, they got me down to a 2015, and I could read this font like it's nothing, my friends. Michigan teacher accused of having sex within view of students. See? Look at me. We're reading that like That's it. the headline. It's big. Oh. There's, there's, you don't notice those. Uh, that isn't like scribble under it. It's actual words. A former Michigan high school. See, now I have to slow it down a little bit because it yeah. is very tiny. A former Michigan high school teacher was in court Monday after being arraigned on a charge of indecent exposure and having sex with a student. How hot is this? Yay. Why can't the mainstream media say, how hot is this, ever? Uh, editorializing? Yeah, but they editorialize all the time. That's the new thing with the news. Mm. 
Like the guy with the 16-year-old uh, teen thing we did earlier? Couldn't say it enough. You don't think that guy was a little turned on by that story? Just a little, a little bit? A little. I'm sure he can't really say that. He'd be fired, but, uh, you know, he's a red-blooded male. <laughs> I hate when they say that. A red-blooded male. What the hell does that mean? He's got red blood in him or something. Well, well, but don't we all? Male. <laughs> Kelly Ann Abdo, it looks like, of uh, Luna Pier pleaded innocent to the count. I love when you get caught red-handed and you still plead innocent. Monroe yeah, County yeah. Prosecutor That's William funny. Nichols' office said Abdo is accused of having sex with a student in a car on a public street next to a house where there was a high school party going on. See, perhaps they should have gone down the road a little further Yeah. instead of in front of the house, you know? Other students told the prosecutor's office that they saw the two naked in the car. How hot is this? Who are these other rats? I know. Someone's always got a rat. God. God, a bunch of busy bodies. It's the nerds. It's the jealous. That now rule the world. It's the jealous guys, too. You know, they Which are the, the nerds, car. for the most part. They saw the naked uh, woman there and uh, the guy, and, and they're going at it. And uh, it's like, hey, I'm not getting any tonight. I'm ratting. Yeah, but it's not like the cool kids, because they think they're, they're going to have a turn. Yeah. It's the ones that have no doubt in their mind that, that this would never happen to them. They're the ones telling all the students told the prosecutors, okay, uh, they saw them naked in the car. Wow. The prosecutor's office also said Abdo is being investigated but has not been charged in another case involving inappropriate sexual relations with a 17-year-old student. Look how hot she is, She's too. not that hot, dude. She's okay. Really? The picture yeah. I'm looking at? Right. She's not, there have it's been a little blurry. Teachers. She's a dumb face. Well, yeah. we have a theory on this, and we did this bit on the show. Ugly teachers get way more time for this. Oh hell yeah! Than the really hot teachers. We went down the list, and and the pigs were getting like like ten years, and and the hot blondes with the blue eyes were getting like probation. Yeah, I'll tell you something. Uh, I, as far as um, ethics goes, uh, there's a problem. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as the age goes, the guy's seventeen. That's uh, just stop. That's no, there's no problem there as far as. Uh, you know, some kind of a, an age thing goes. Mm -hmm. But a teacher and a student, there is a conflict there. I mean, yeah, obviously. Kind of a teacher banging a student kind of makes uh, disciplining the class a little difficult sure. when they can just yell out, you know, hey, slut, what's the answer to, <laughs> you know, the problem on the board? Yeah. Well, <laughs> and then, <laughs> hey, whore, well, I don't want homework tonight. <laughs> and the kid's 17. She doesn't look like she's more than 25 tops, right? Yeah, she looks like one of those teacher's aides. Thing. Kind of right out of college, uh, started teaching. She might be as young as 22, 23. What was that? She's a mountain person face. It was either Jimmy farting or we, we had those big bullfrogs in oh. the studio somewhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she looks like the, I, I recently watched from Deliverance, the the, um, the uh, banjo kid. She oh, had yeah. that same type of dumb face. Like just a vapid look. Oh, that's a horrible visual. I think she's but, uh, better looking than that. She's awful. That I got to see a better picture. Horrid banjo kid. Yeah. Oh, what a face on him. I want to know what happens to that kid. They just showed he's... him he's 52. Really? <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. He's 52? Yes. Let's see the picture. Are you lying? Are you no. acting? No, he's not it's acting. Wonderful. You're you're using a tissue in your hands so they're not moving awkwardly. <laughs> no, it's actually true. Abdo was a math teacher and volleyball coach at the Monroe High School. She has since been on paid administration leave since the accusations began in May after an internal investigation. She'll be uh, back in court February nineteenth. She got an internal investigation. <laughs> 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 Love those stories. Yeah, the sexy uh, teacher stories. It brings you right story, back to, think. like, you know, reaching puberty and just just wanting to. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with that, though. 17? <laughs> nah. I remember, you know, at 17, there was no problem with, with uh, that. You're not going to be traumatized because uh, you're having sex with somebody that's older. Hell no, you're paying more attention in, in class. App it. So, what do you think? Child. Yes, merely a child, right? <laughs> it shouldn't happen, obviously, but it's really it not going to yeah, damage the... Teacher-student, not because of the age. That's just it, silly. It's not going to damage the boy too much. Someone recently did get in trouble because of uh, some kind of a uh, teacher-student thing, but uh, they were 18. So it wasn't the age, but the teacher got in trouble because, uh, you know, there's some kind of law in the books that says an educator cannot have sex with a student. Right. And it's a, a law that you can go to jail for. Even right. even a college professor? Um, I, it all depends on the state you're in. Oh. Uh, wherever it was that I was reading, and of course I don't have all the information, 
uh, it, it was a, a crime. Yeah, yeah, crime, yeah. All right, let's get back to the sexting thing, finally. We just did some off-roading. We're back on the highway. Slacks. It's fucking great. Fun, yeah. fun, fuck game. I love it. This is Rohan Dawkins. He would go to GameStop on Lincoln Boulevard every week, give them $10 from his Home Depot paycheck. Finally, Tuesday, he saved enough to get the new game. He bought it, but police say he was followed into the parking lot by the husband and wife, where they robbed him right there and took the game. Oh, no. did not know a one. What? And then we're night. Oh, no. Basically, oh, this is how hot no. this game is. Oh, my Probably God. Probably should give it a little bit of a setup. Oh, my he God. He got a mentally challenged man, and he had his game stolen. <laughs> Could I say the... Yeah, they of fucking course. stole a retarded guy's um, fucking yes. video. Yes. Because look Can we at just them. play the video? Because yeah, Because look at them. Of course they did. Predatory savages. News Channel 5. Off because this mentally challenged man saved up for weeks to buy the game. He barely Anthony. got out of the store into the parking lot when police say this guy shows up, snatches the game away, and then his wife gets involved and starts punching Fucking and kicking animals. the mentally challenged man. Take a look at the video. This is Rohan Dawkins. He would go to GameStop on Lincoln Boulevard every yeah, week, give them dreads. $10 from his Home Depot paycheck. Oh, Finally, he Tuesday, he saved enough to get the new game. He bought it, but police say he was followed into the parking lot by the husband and wife, where they robbed him right there and took the game. Uh. Oh, did not know one? Oh, I know one night. Oh, and me and me. Oh. Now, it wasn't nice that they did that to him, and it, it hurt him. Oh. Big picture, it's a hundred fifty dollar game, but big picture, I'm sure to him, it was a very big deal. It's a, it's a very anticipated game. Uh, what a fucking animal. To fuck it. How, how do you beat a how guy up like that? that? Both of them. The, the guy robbed him, and then the girl started punching no, him. No, I, I say the, the women, punching is the worst. And the women are worse than the fucking men uh, yeah. uh, in a lot of instances I see this. They will fucking punch people. Like, there is a such a problem in, in the black community with the fucking women that just are fucking unbelievably uncivilized. I hate it. I see it too much. Stop trying to argue about it with me, too. I'm right! <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Right of center, I'd say. Well, <laughs> any more left to this? More importantly, to I've never seen a black uh, mentally challenged person before. Uh, very rare. <laughs> You've never worked with Keith Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that rare? I don't know. I, I'm not even joking. I, I don't, you don't see many. I don't. I, not, not as many. I don't know why. Well, you got to assume again, ten percent of the population. Right, right. You're right. not gonna, you know. Right. But you still think you'd see them more often? Like I, I just think. I don't think I've seen that many. Also, can we pull uh, audio from other channels yet? Uh, really depends. Or would you think less would be if there was a hole cut in the back <laughs> <laughs> and pull oh. it up in between? Hey, speaking of Boston, uh, they're all talking about this uh, crab apple tree up there. What? <laughs> This is their big story today. They get some weird ass stories up there. All hell is breaking loose in the world, but they're concerned about a crab apple tree, or or three old broads are. Why? This is a nice find. Well, we're gonna find out. Three old broads in Boston don't want a crab apple tree cut down. Crab apples, the worst. Have you ever had a crab apple? When you're a kid, you always bite into one, and and it, all of a sudden your face gets that sour thing going on. It could on. be the s most sour thing you could. Yeah. Eat. What is the most sour thing you could eat? A crab apple. <laughs> I'm thinking it might be a crab apple. Alum. A what? Alum. It's a chemical. Why would you know that? Because on cartoons, they would always give it to, um, like, uh, a little rambunctious mouse would give it to um, a cat that's trying to kill him or something, and he would give him some alum, and his head would shrink. <laughs> First, he'd pucker up, and then his head would shrink because it was so sour. Oh, I don't... Uh... No, I don't know. And you, yeah, you didn't watch cartoons. Probably. No, we did watch cartoons, but we didn't have to like study them like like you. you. Well, I went to college for cartoons. Forget Aristotle and Socrates. What? Here comes Professor Anthony. Mm, hi. There you go. Yeah, there. That's wonderful. So, uh, yeah, crab crab apples. What do they do with crab apples? Do they make anything? No, they're meant to throw at your neighbors over the <laughs> yeah, fence. That's exactly. That's right. pretty much why they exist. We had, we had the trees in our uh, in our backyard, and it made great. Uh, it was great for yeah for backyard wars. wars. 
You, 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 we used to have like Lord of the Flies wars with uh, another tribe of kids over our backyard fence, mm-hmm. and you just start lobbing crab apples and dirt bombs and stuff until somebody threw that rock, and you just hear. You wouldn't see your enemy. That was the best thing because the fence is a little too high for us kids. So you just lob things. You like lobbing random artillery over the fence, and they're doing the same thing. And it only ended when you heard. After someone threw a rock, <laughs> and then everyone ran away, and you'd see the kid in school the next day with a big cut on his head, a big band aid. Well, because you would make the rules like, <laughs> look, dirt bombs, no rocks in the dirt bomb. Yeah, over the other side of the fence, no rocks. But then you're in the middle of this war, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to just start throwing rocks, and no one's going to know I'm throwing the rock. I didn't know it was a rock in a dirt bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but crab apples were also very, very good for uh, backyard warfare as a kid. You do acorn fights. Uh, yeah, acorns were also used. Very dangerous, where too, you, though. Where you would, like, have an agreement, like, all right, for the next hour, collect as many acorns as possible. No, no. And then war on. These things were very spontaneous, and usually um, with some kind of uh, um, dislike. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like, hey, let's have a war for fun. This was, I can't stand my backyard neighbor, See, so let's throw rocks at them. You didn't have uh, enough brothers growing up. No, I have one. I'm one of five I'm boys, sister. so we... we we loved each other, but we also want to, you know, clock each other in the head with rocks and oh, and apples oh, and so stuff. yeah, you, you're doing like a mm-hmm. just like an exhibition game, sure, <laughs> just amongst you guys. One actually, team. had little wars, dude. It was war, like, f- like with the kids uh, all around us in in the other yards over the fences. Mm. Yeah, that's what, what we did out on Long Island. What nationality did you guys go after? Well, everyone was white back then. In your neighborhood? No, on the world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in my neighborhood. I was in East Northport. <laughs> yeah. Let's try, uh, to f- try to find a black person in East Northport uh, circa 1970-something. Uh, well, now try to find a white person. Exactly. On Long Island. Wow. What's happening? What's going on? It's uh, ethnic diversity, and it's welcome. Sure is. Uh, three Who ladies- said that? Well, that's... <laughs> well, look. Go to Brentwood. Go to Wine Danch. Get out, shake some hands. No? Maybe if it's daylight. Maybe. Uh, let's say hi to Amy in Michigan. Amy. Hi. Hey. How are you guys? Good. What do you What do you got, Amy? Good. I just wanted to tell Anthony that alum is not sour, it's salty. It's a pickling spice. Oh, a no. A pickling spice. Oh, no. I don't, I don't know. I just oh. know from cartoons, they puckered up, and then their head shrunk. I think it happened to um, Sylvester. I think Tweety Bird put some alum uh, in his mouth when he thought he was eating the bird. Yeah. All right, Amy. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. Let's uh, let's get into the story. Three old ladies in Boston don't want the uh, crab apple tree to be cut down. Do they blame it on black people? <laughs> that seems to be what happens up in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they haven't done that in 15 oh, years. No, Let it go. I can't. What year was that? I don't know. That Charles Stewart. Wait, that was... Uh, <laughs> That's a long time ago. Every man. year up until 2002. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Meet Ethel, Pat, and Lee. 60, 70, and 80 something. Wait, what are the names? Ethel, Pat, and Lee. Really? Ethel. Oh, God. <laughs> Meet Ethel, Pat, and Lee. 60, 70, and 80 something year olds who are mad as heck and they're not going to take it anymore. Oh, I- mad as heck. My womb is dried up, and I'm mad as heck. That's where she stores the crab apples. <laughs> the womb is being rented out as crab apple storage. Oh, jeez. Is that them? Oh, my God. All He's right. Sitting out under I, the crab tree. I, I see what, what we're getting at. It looks like these uh, these broads, just like those hippies out west, they're, they're not leaving the crab apple tree until... No. until uh, they agreed to not cut it down, so but, it lo- but they can't climb the tree, so they got a little lawn furniture around the base of it. It looks like a very suburban little uh, neighborhood. They're sitting on the grass right next to the road underneath the crab up tree mm-hmm. in some plastic uh, backyard furniture. Yeah. Take it anymore. No. I know what the main thing is. It's the tree. All right. And I don't not. care about the dumpster. They are angry that the Shrewsbury housing complex they live in is threatening to cut down this crab apple tree that sits right in front of their apartments <laughs> and replace it with a dumpster. <laughs> to protest, they broke themselves to the tree. <laughs> I'll keep myself tied to that tree as long as I can <laughs> until they take me to jail. <laughs> 
Oh my god, dude! I just saw I, what they did. They tied themselves there with <laughs> like I am packing twine. It, it's, it's the littlest piece of string, and 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 they didn't even make a. They they made half a, a knot. A single half a knot. Yeah, half, a, half knot. a square knot. As in, if you just pull this dumb thing, the broads will be free. Pull this dumb thing, meaning the women. Yeah. How great would it be if they sent in a SWAT team, and they literally just bludgeon them with nightsticks <laughs> and, and drag them away? And then cut down the tree, and each one of them was given 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> like some kind of a complete overreaction. Just way over the top. Oh, tased. Yeah. And then beaten with batons. Oh. Set the dogs on them. Hey, I got Throw it. them in the car. Tear gas them. They should tear tear gas. Them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't breathe. I got $500 Ethel. to the first listener to go there with a chainsaw. And just don't touch the ladies. Oh, would that be great? Take the tree down. Five hundred dollars, yeah. cold hard cash. You'll still get arrested for trespassing and destruction of property, I'm ah, sure. But it'll be an easy. It'll ticket. be fun. It'll be an easy ticket. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but they're tying themselves around the tree with this tiny little twine. We have a. It's my knitting yarn. Look, look. <laughs> my knitting yarn. <laughs> look, look at the knot. We'll, we'll put the video up on ondayradio.com. Get away from the tree, you old bag. Right, it continues. <laughs> it's one not. I don't believe in killing live trees. <laughs> and then if it were dead and he had to take it down, I still don't want the dumpster here. You see, it's not just the tree they're worried about, it's the stench. Can you feel this breeze? Can you feel That's the only way it comes is this way. And that smell is going to come right into our windows. Yeah, of your I'm diapers. I cannot live <laughs> in up a them. shut, closed room because I have to smell garbage. No garbage. What 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 happens uh, to old broads, man? They start sounding and looking like men. It's men. Look, yeah, look I at think, that. That's a man. That that I think if you if you're married for too long, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to you say got, this. You got to get out of it. I think officially you become gay because <laughs> <laughs> I I mean. There's no other way to say it. Yeah. Look at these broads. There's, there's nothing feminine about them. And there's somebody probably married to them for 30, 40, 50 years. Yeah. And then they have the hot young reporter doing the story. And you know, these broads probably look close to that back in the day. I don't think Ethel did. No, maybe not Ethel, but maybe Pat. Pat looks like she uh, oh. was the Look at this. Oh, what happened? Ethel. Oh, Ethel. How do you do that? You get married to that. And <laughs> if you're married long enough, you're officially married to a dude. To a guy. What do you say? Let's go to the movies. No, you're a man. Yeah, there's something happens with those hormones. Once those ovaries dry up, it's over, Johnny. Sure is. Facial hair. They all get that sensible haircut. <laughs> she looks. Uh, she does look like uh, Ernest Borgnine. <laughs> You think the husbands are happy that uh, these these three are just kind of spending their time? If they're lucky, a crab apple tree. They're dead. She has hair like Starsky. <laughs> Starsky. <laughs> She's terrible, this old lady. Oh, with their old lady clothes and the, oh, this this tree I is take it. It's not even in nature. It's it's part of like a. An apartment complex yeah. in the middle of the parking lot. Yeah, you're at an apartment. You're not in the rainforest, dummies. No, it's just a dumb tree they need to cut down so they can put a dumpster there so people can throw out their garbage. It and great? it's a little tree. They just cut it down with them sitting there and it collapsed on them. <laughs> timber, <laughs> huh? <laughs> right on the, one of them had a broken back. You think the guy cutting it down will yell timber? Yes. They the should. tree's like 10 feet tall. It's they should, nothing. They should cut down the tree, put the dumpster in its place, and then throw Ethel, Pat, and Lee in the dumpster. And drive away. Wait a minute. Did they nail a sign to the tree? Yeah. Well, that's they put not nails good the in tree. the tree. A leave our tree alone sign is nailed to the tree. These old ladies are stupid. How about they nail the sign to themselves and see how much that, that <laughs> what, hurts? What it feels like. Poor tree. Would it be funny, though, if one of them set themselves on fire in protest, <laughs> but they started doing, like, terrorist activities, <laughs> like pe cutting people's throats in the neighborhood? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Like with a, and they knew it was them because it was a crab apple in the throat. They crystallized my pupa. <laughs> we got to get one of our listeners down on uh, down there to see what's going on. I'm, yeah, I'm sure there's there's a lot of media checking out the old broads trying to save the crab apple tree. We should, we should try to get in touch with uh, at least one of them. Yeah, to uh, yeah, let let's them get them on the phone. Get their plight out on the air. Maybe it'll help uh -huh. if um, we spread the word for them. All right. 
Uh, yeah, that's, that's right. One more quick clip. And while safety is certainly a big concern for these ladies, they say there's got to be a better option than cutting down a tree. And I can't see yeah. why they can't. I, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Hold the phone. Why wasn't this edited? Oh, my God. These old oh ladies have God. potty mouth. Wow. I don't believe it. I can't believe the potty mouths on these old broads. I think we just lost 350 Gs, my what friend. What happened? Oh. I say play it again. All right. And while safety is certainly a big concern for these ladies, they say there's got to be a better option than cutting down a tree. And I can't see that. Whoa! Hey! Hey, 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 lady. Come on now. This is uh, national television and radio we're talking here. <laughs> The second one's even better. I know. And while safety is certainly a big concern for these ladies, they say there's got to be a better option than cutting down a tree. And I can't see yeah. why they can't fix. <laughs> All right, hold the phone. <laughs> this now is the best story ever. <laughs> why is she saying that? That's how you say it in Boston and Shrewsbury. You've been there. Oh, okay. I forgot. It's the accent. Oh, I wish they'd talk about caulk. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Oh. This, be, <laughs> this is a great clip now. All right. Who gives a crap about this dumb crab out Can we tree? please just play that until nine? <laughs> sure. Let's get the whole clip on the air here. And while safety is certainly a big concern for these ladies, they say there's got to be a better option than cutting down a tree. And I can't see yeah. why they can't fix the dumpster, why they can't fix the pad. I mean, I'd like to know <laughs> them to tell me why they can't fix the pad. All it is is a cement pad. I'm sure if I was young, I could fix it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You three old cants. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the line right there. Oof. Cant one, cant two, and cant three. Go indoors and knit a blanket. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that must be awkward when she's out, yeah. <laughs> out of state. <laughs> Are you what? <laughs> Would you call me? Oh wow! I wish we could just go with this. Wow, we wow. That's uh, I wish right. we could go with this one. I want to see more of these broads on. Uh, I, I would say. Someone go there and interview them and just make her say that as many times that's, as possible. That's the bit. That's the bit. Yeah. <laughs> that's the bit. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, Anthony, someone is uh, on the line. They said that they're they're just tuning in. They don't even know what's going on with this story. Oh. So we're going to have to play this clip again. Yeah. What's the, what's the story for well, the people apparently, just tuning in? Three old broads uh, live in an apartment complex, and uh, there's a crabapple tree that they like to sit under, Yeah. apparently, and they're going to chop it down and put a dumpster there. Yeah. So these three old bags are a little upset about it. Mm -hmm. They're from Boston. Um, Shrewsbury. Uh, Shrewsbury, excuse me. Go and local for the boys. I know. They're uh, very upset about this, and so, so they're tying themselves with the knitting yarn. My knitting yarn. <laughs> My knitting yarn. They're tying themselves to the tree uh, in protest. Mm -hmm. And uh, the news went and interviewed them. Yeah. And got some statements from them. And they're the old very, bags. very upset. Very upset. Apparently very upset. And we don't have time to play all the clips, so the, I think the last clip is the it's, one. It to sums play. it up. Yes, I think it sums it up. Yeah. And while safety is certainly a big concern for these ladies, they say there's got to be a better option than cutting down a tree. And I can't see yeah. why they can't fix the dumpster, why they can't fix the pad. I mean, I'd like to know <laughs> them to tell me why they can't fix the pad. All it is is a cement pad. Yeah. I'm sure if I was young, I could fix it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Thank you, Boston. Thank Does you. Does anyone laugh at her? Huh? Does anyone, like family members or stuff, uh, when they visit and she talks and then the little kids are around, did you hear what Grandma said? Yeah. Make her say it again. <laughs> Can I fly to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> See, if we, if we even imitated 
what they're saying there, they would dump out. We, 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 hey, we, exactly. We have played this perfectly. Grandma's using the same word. Daddy uses it for mommy. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, that's uh, well. Best of luck to the uh, the old bags. And a little advice, maybe they should uh, say cannot. Yes, get a new, uh, because, get some other woman to speak. Because no one's taking you seriously if you're saying it that way. It just you're that's all I'm fixated on now. Right. Is, oh, I, I just want to play it over and over saying again. Saying that, I bet you they do it on purpose. I bet when the news left, she's like, I got foreign. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. Uh, they played it on the news. Oh, Jesus. Don't we have a listener nearby that uh, we could interview him for the show? I'm sure there's somebody in Shrewsbury listening. You, you think they're out there 24 hours a day? Uh, I'll tell you this much. Mm, uh, no. It's kind of a, not a big story, but it's a story in Boston, so I'm sure some news crews will be on hand today. Hey, I know who lived in Shrewsbury. Maybe he can go there. Rock out. Hey, you old bitch. Want to smoke a joint? You got something for me to eat? You have any grandchildren? <laughs> How hard would it be to cut the tree down? Ling, ling. Wait till they all go to the bathroom. It probably happens like once every five minutes. <laughs> they all go to come back. And I have to stump. go get changed. <laughs> yeah. Change her dighty. Yeah, just just cut it down while Ethel's got her feet in the air like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Being powdered. Exactly. Plus, so someone's dealing with, quote, the burden. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, everyone's got their can't joke, and we just can't do that. No, well, unfortunately, of we've you know. I think yeah. we uh, I think we got away with murder today. Let's just keep it where it's at. That's good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Why don't we do the uh, the old broads one more time because people are just tuning in. Now. Yes, it's an important story. It really is. We got a lot of clips here. I don't think we have uh, time to play all the clips, Ant. Ah, so we might as well just kind of. Throw the story out there. Uh, three old bags in uh, Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. <laughs> there used to be a uh, Newbury Comics up there in yes, Shrewsbury. Yes. Want to go a little local today for everybody. Shrewsbury. We signed many copies of Demented World at that uh, did. Newbury Comics in Shrewsbury. Well, uh, these, <laughs> the, these three old bats. They're up there, and apparently they live in this uh, apartment complex. Yes. And there's a, a crab apple tree. A little crab apple tree that uh, these women like. I guess they put their chairs out there and sit under it. Boy, they sure do, it. And they're going to cut down this crab apple tree and put a dumpster there. Yeah. And it has these three old battle axes all <laughs> in a tizzy. Uh, so they've decided to sit under the tree in some plastic backyard furniture uh -huh. and uh, tie themselves to the tree. With what amounts to knitting yarn. Wasn't even real. Like, when it, people do this for a cause, they usually chain themselves to something. Yeah. And they climb up in the Yeah, tray. they climb up. So, this way, you could come by with a pair of dull scissors yeah. and get these old uh, hags off the tree. And they're not dedicated to their cause because we got a hold of them this morning. And, yeah. we, and we woke the one old broad up. She's not even outside no, next to the tree. She's not outside next to the tree. She's not protecting the, the crab apple tree. Oh, these dust pooping old fossils <laughs> are sitting out in front of this tree, uh, and they're interviewed by the press. Yeah. And um, one of them just made a great statement that I, I think says it all. It sure sums up everything, Anthony. It says it all. That's right. This is Ethel. And while safety is certainly a Coming big up. concern for these uh, ladies, they say there's got to be a better option than cutting down a tree. And I oh, yeah, this is the one where she's... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Jim. Linger longer. Stupid Steve. <laughs> oh, my Jimmy God. ruins everything. <laughs> <laughs> I ruin things. The, and the one thing Steve wants more than anything is to be not called stupid. But then he does oh, what he did earlier, oh, and then you can't help jeepers. yourself. He's very stressed. We're not going to explain. Uh, Steve had quite the faux pas earlier. All right, now i got to start the clip again. And while safety is certainly a <laughs> big concern for these ladies, they say there's got to be a better option than cutting down a tree. And I can't see yeah. why they can't fix <laughs> the dumpster why they can't fix the pad i mean i'd like to know them to tell me why they can't fix the pad all it is is a cement pad i'm sure if i was young i could fix it yeah <laughs> it's not about the cement pad lady <laughs> Ooh. That's, that. not a, that's that's a boston accent mixed in with something else 
Is she from across the pond originally or something? Uh, well, they do There's use a... uh, certain words over there <laughs> a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so perhaps she is. I don't know, but wow. <laughs> yeah. And we're trying to get it. We're, we're very close to getting Ethel on our show. Very close. Yeah. So hopefully we'll have her on in a few minutes here. Hopefully Steve won't screw that one up. No. And it uh, reminds us of the... Uh, and, and when you're on, don't say can't. <laughs> yes, that's what I'll tell her. <laughs> Whatever you do. Uh, <laughs> nice. Um, it reminds us of the crying tree people. We got to play this one more time. Crying tree people. Oh, God. Earth first members cry over dead trees. Yeah, they went in the middle of the woods. Uh, they found some tree that was laying on the ground. And uh, start talking about it, talking to it, getting all choked up about it. Oh, kind of like when you were a kid and you found your dog dead in the yard. <laughs> you would talk to it and cry over it and all that, right? No. But they're well, doing the same thing with a tree. When I found little Smokey on the side of the road, Opie, um, I, I just ran away because Smokey looked, uh, Smokey was dead. My father told me Smokey ran away and he had just seen Smokey. He was lying because I was walking uh, home. And uh, the right there on the side of the road was a cat that looked like Smokey. And I was like, uh-oh. And then I ran up to see if Smokey was okay. And I looked, and I took a stick, and I turned Smokey over, because the side that was facing me looked like Smokey. Looks so like I, he might have been sleeping. Yeah, so I went to turn Smokey over, and Smokey turned over, and Smokey was completely flat on the other side. Could have been a wall mounting, and full of maggots. Eating away at little Smokey, and I saw Smokey's skeleton. Uh oh. Uh, and it was, it just, it disturbed me so much uh, that I just, of course, burst into tears and started crying because that's what I did. <laughs> you were 17? <laughs> yes. <laughs> little Smokey. Well, Smokey Dad lied sucked. to me. I hate Smokey. Well, here's adults <laughs> crying over, it was nice. crying over dead trees, <laughs> and Smokey was a douche. <laughs> Deep in the woods of North Carolina, an extremist eco-group called Earth First bewails the violation of American nature. I want to mourn the loss <laughs> of all the old growth trees I've seen <laughs> and tell them that we love them and that we don't want them to die, that we are some people here who do care. So I want you to know that, trees. <laughs> that we care. You might want to take notice that trees don't have ears. Yes, they... You, <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> they they really uh, they can't hear you. Right. Um, they don't care about you. <laughs> They're just there. <laughs> And when they fall down and die, they what, what do you think? The little tree spirit goes somewhere? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same as people. You're just, you're done. I don't you're, think God gave the spirit to the trees. No. and no Only the simian has the divine spark. Right. And no no, yeah. s no spirit for animals either. Just the, just the humans, right, Ant? Yep. That's it. Just doled it out to us uh, people. That's right. We know best. I think we are deeply hurting in America. I think we are deeply craving answers. I think that we've lost our identity as we have Wait evolved into it. technology Wait and into industrialized society. Bring me to this cathedral. Bring me to those guys. Bring me to this rock that has the most incredible life. That makes me feel alive. I've oh. looked at clear cuts and burnt forest, and I've felt outraged, but I didn't scream and I didn't cry, and I need to. <laughs> 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 you I wish that scream was because a giant tree, they just saw it falling on them, and that was their final scream before a giant tree crushes them. No, it was a tree attacking like in the Evil Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Legs being opened in a branch. <laughs> uh, that was a good scene. Uh, sure. That was great. Oh my god. Yeah, let's think Lord of the Rings. Very good, E-Rock. We got Lord of uh, the Rings fans out there. Yeah. There are some really 
effed up people out there because that is just beyond any reason. Bunch of kooks. Nuts. In the middle of the woods crying over dead trees. And they get to vote for the president. That's the weird thing. No, you know who they're voting for. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. A tree. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yes. third party candidate, yeah. the Oak, the La- Oak, Larry Elm, <laughs> right? <laughs> Larry Elm and his running mate, Mister Oak. <laughs> Dummies. Yeah, Steve Moss <laughs> or Pete Moss. Kind of sucks. Yeah, let's put down a little Steve Moss. Hello, I'm Moss. Exactly. <laughs> um, yes, I am because I just kind of stay there and don't move. <laughs> We we could talk to the uh, the crab apple broad today. You want to do it or what? I, more than I want to breathe. Is it going to be the one though, Stunt yeah. Brain? How do we get her to say can't. We really got to think of that. Okay, so they could or so could they could they? That's the transplant goal. the um, tree. That's the goal. Maybe a little. So uh, you're saying they can't? Can you do this? No, I can't. Can you? Can't. Yeah, we need we need her to say that. Hmm. We'll get her. We'll we'll get her. Oh, we'll get her. All right. Well, the story. Uh, Got to thank Mike, the board up, uh, the board up up there in Boston at BCN. He uh, he found this gem, a great story in Shrewsbury. Uh, three old broads, an apartment complex, a crab apple tree, mm-hmm. and they're guarding the crab apple tree because they don't want them to cut the crab apple tree. Oh, down heavens no. To put a dumpster in its place because I guess the apartment complex needs a dumpster and they got to put it somewhere. Yeah. And it's this lame ass tree all by itself in this apartment complex. Lame. And they're using like lawn furniture and a tiny little like like twine to tie themselves together. But then yesterday we we called this Ethel and she uh she uh was sleeping. Ethel. She wasn't guarding the uh the crab apple. No. Tree. And uh, here's our best clip from the story. There was a bunch of them, but this one is our best for obvious reasons as they explain their plight up there in Shrewsbury. And while safety is certainly a big concern for these ladies, they say there's got to be a better option than cutting down a tree. And I can't see why they can't fix the dumpster, why they can't fix the pad. I mean, I'd like to know (laughs) them to tell me why they can't fix the pad. All it is is a cement pad. I'm sure if I was young, I could fix it. Yeah. <laughs> Just amazing. No, it's in that clip that we haven't really acknowledged. There's some guy that kind of laughing. Yeah, there's like a... Is that the reporter <laughs> realizing what's uh, what's going down? I don't know. Yeah, someone chuckled in there. Yeah. Well, we're getting uh, Ethel on the phone right now to see how uh, the crab apple tree thing is going. Mm-hmm. Travis is dialing the number. Oh. It's ringing. We're waiting. All right. I think we got her. Yeah, no, I think it's good that they did that. I mean, sometimes you got to, uh, if you have an issue with something, you have to, uh, you have to uh, take it's, the fight uh, to city hall, as they say. Uh, Jimmy, sometimes uh, you got to make a stand yeah. for what you believe in, and uh, uh, nothing but the utmost respect for these three ladies um, making a stand for for something they believe in. It's wonderful, I, I believe. More people should do it. Yes, absolutely. Ethel. Yes. Welcome to the radio show. How are Ethel. you? Ethel. Oh, I'm fine today, thank you. Oh, very good, very good. Well, now, uh, Ethel, we've been watching your plight here, your uh, battle uh, to save a crab apple tree in your apartment complex. Right, yes. Yes. Could you take us through, uh, you know, the whole story for the people that might be hearing it for the first yes, time? Yes, how did it start? Oh, well, it started that um, uh, we were told that, uh, you know, the apple tree was coming down to move a dumpster, which the... Um, cement block had, uh, you know, deteriorated oh, goodness. and it needed to be fixed. So yes. uh, they, they're having a dedication for a Mr. Ricker up here. So I guess mm-hmm. they wanted to rush it through and they thought we probably wouldn't even notice. Oh, but so, you girls are sharp. I know. You you yeah. noticed. <laughs> the trucks came up and uh, we were out there in a flash and we just, uh, we just sat there and uh, the trucks left and um, uh, we just continued to sit there. But then we had a meeting last night. Oh, you did? Yes. How'd that go? Yesterday lunchtime, rather. It went very well. And I think they realize now that, that, you know, it's something they shouldn't have done. So can they still cut this tree down? No, they have promised not to do anything. And they're having another meeting on October 14th. And they, they are going to see, you know, if they can find an alternative. But why, why, why can't they just do something else? Well, I, I don't see why they can't just fix the platform. I mean, 
They can build nuclear bombs. They can go to the moon. So, I mean, uh, just to fix a, a... Well, they claim there are wires underneath, which there are, but uh, they've been there for 37 years. Oh, uh, And wow. I think that they, as long as they have the electric light company there, which they should, which they probably will, uh, you know, to mm. uh, uh, check it, Sure. It'll be all right. Oh. No, you've gotten a lot of media attention on this, uh, Ethel. Yes, we did. Uh, we were very lucky. And I believe that is helping your cause. So, uh, is is the tree now uh, safe? Yes, yes, until October fourteenth, at least. Oh goodness! <laughs> so and can, prob probably even beyond that. Can't can't you fix the slab or no? Oh, I think I think it could be slipped. There's a kind of a, a slope there. And oh, of course, that's nice. yeah, and I imagine when the the men come to pick up the uh, dumpster thing, that uh, you know they're not too careful. I don't imagine. I don't know, but um, uh, you know it has. You know the front of it's deteriorated over the years. And one woman fell and broke her arm. Oh, my oh, goodness. Boy. I hope she's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she's fine. Oh, good, okay. good. Yeah. Can, yeah. can the tree be moved and saved? Uh, no, the tree couldn't be moved. No. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't think it would even be worth it, but... Um, it's, oh, so, it's a pretty spot. That's what it is. It's a very pretty sure. spot. Yeah, well, we so we saw it on TV and saw you ladies. Do you spend a lot of time underneath uh, the tree? Yeah, well, we don't, but we do have a, a like a good view of it because um, otherwise we're just looking at a parking lot, you know? So Hopefully. that is a good... Try. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Ethel, can you believe all the attention that you're getting? No, I can't. <laughs> Only in America. <laughs> Only in America, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely right. I mean, can, can you can you imagine another scenario that would have paint would have given you guys this type of attention? Oh yeah, no, I can't imagine. <laughs> it was amazing. We saw the footage of you, uh, the three of you, kind of like tying yourselves up to the tree, just kind of challenging them to move you. Yeah. Um, right. Very brave, Ethel. Can you think? Can, I'm sorry, Ethel. Can you think of another example of something that you've done like this? Uh, no, um, not really, but uh, we've, we've been down several times when different things come up, you know, to talk to the board, uh -huh. but um, uh, we didn't get too far with those things, but like when we used to have umbrellas, up, well, there's two floors, and upstairs uh, they needed umbrellas, sun umbrellas, because in the summer it gets very hot. And bet. Of course get, it does, Ethel, of yeah. course it does. Oh, they were very, very pretty. And I used to look down there and I think, oh, that is so pretty. It looks so nice. And maybe plants hanging from the uh, railing. And, and we used to have uh, uh, chairs on the porch and things. Yeah. Now we're allowed a chair on the porch, but we have to take it in each night. Mm. Well, can you plant other trees there? No, we, no. Well, they, they, they claim they could plant another <laughs> apple tree where the dumpster was. But if they can dig it to put an apple tree... They can dig it to fix it. Right, right. <laughs> so that's the way I think. I don't know. So they were saying that uh, uh, they 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 can uh, they can move the dumpster back where the old slab was. Yes, like it's on. It's still on the old slab, but mm -hmm. you know, all it needs to be done is I don't know. I think they could fix it. Ethel, can you can you spell super fragile? What's that word? Super fragilistic. Super fragilistic yeah. expialidocious. Yeah, can you spell that? <laughs> no, not right now. Thank you. <clears throat> Ethel. It's oh, early. Totally Ethel, uh, obviously, I'm hearing a bit of an accent. Where Where are you uh, from originally? I was born in England, yep. and uh, in, during the, the end of the war, oh. 1947, I, I came over and married my husband. Oh. We were married for 54 years. Oh, well, God bless. That's wonderful. <laughs> Now, now, Ethel, it's true it's a crab apple tree, right? Yes. Well, Cliff in New York wants to know, can, can you uh, use the crab apples to make something delicious? No, I imagine, I think oh. the tree should be fed or, you know, it probably needs attention uh, to uh, be able to use that. Do you think you guys can give it the attention uh, it needs? Well, we can try. <laughs> we can try. <laughs> Either that or just have the apples drop on our heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Goodness gracious, uh, Ethel. But I got to I gotta be honest. We were really shocked. We love the, the kind of uh, the way you three weren't backing down. And uh, Yeah, sure. Can, can, can you think of a way that you could have gotten more attention from this? No, I don't. I really oh. don't. This, this was the best attention we could have got. Yeah. It helps your cause, right? All, all that focus. Now all these people are interested. It kind of helps you guys keep the tree going. Yes, and we've had quite a few comments, you know, even on... Um, uh, you know, on the computer and so forth. Oh, I'm sure. You use the computer? Yes. 
<laughs> really? Um, Ethel, uh, Brooklyn Ace wants to know if you could see the tree from uh, your window. Not from the window, from the porch, I can. Oh, oh but oh, but not from the window. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, and, and what about your the other two can? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, your 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 friends, uh, they can. And you yes. can too. Yes. Oh, they can, and you can. No, I can. I can. I saw it on the porch. I can see it from here. Yeah. Right. So fact, my son came down to to look at it yesterday. He wanted to because he couldn't really remember, you know, what it looked like. And he said it's a very pretty spot. He said sure. it would be an eyesore to put a dumpster there. Oh, it certainly would. Yeah. Hey, Steve from California wants to know uh, how old of a woman are you there, Ethel? I know oh, it's not polite. It's but... Not polite. I know it. Well, for, to, I am eighty-five. Eighty-five. God bless you, Ethel. Yeah, and, and... But from now on, I'm. Changing my age, I'm going down to 79, and that's where I'm <laughs> oh, oh, I like just, that. <laughs> you are quite a card, Ethel. Hey, Ethel, as a 79-year-old battle axe, uh, do you think you could climb the uh, the crab apple tree? No, I don't think so. Oh. No, I, I don't want to take that chance. No, absolutely not. No. Can you smell? Because I know that one of the concerns you had was that this nice air you had to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Can you smell the dumpster from where, where you are? No, I can't because I'm like four... <laughs> Four houses down, but uh, the others can't would because on that side the wind seems to blow from that direction. And uh, don't ask me which is north, south, or east, or west because I never can tell. I can't either. I, I just I, I just rely <laughs> okay. on someone uh, to tell me. So you 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 can tell direction good. No, I can't tell directions good. You tell me <laughs> right. three times and I'm Oh, gone. I gotcha. <laughs> How often do you go back to England? Uh, well, I, when, when my husband was alive, we went quite a few times. My two sons went, and uh, oh. so they've been there. And, and now uh, my grandsons have been there, and they, they love it. And my granddaughter. They oh, that's wonderful. I'm sorry to hear about your loss uh, yeah, after so many years. I'm yeah, very that sorry. that sucks. Yeah, thank you. That really yes, sucks, absolutely. Man. You right. sound like a wonderful woman, uh, Ethel. A lot of fun, a lot of energy. That's nice that you and your friends have taken on this cause. Right. Uh, any uh, any other causes in the future, perhaps? Well, if they come up, we'll be ready. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Josh in uh, in Boston proper wants to know if you can at least reach up and uh, and uh, and pick the uh, crab apple. Oh yes, yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Oh. Yes, we could. Oh, that's nice. I but could. Uh, I'm not very tall, though. But I could. I don't know. What are crab apples good for? I don't know. That I think I don't know. Maybe they make some kind of jelly. But I think they do put it in some kind of jelly. Yeah. Can yeah. you can you make a pie out of them? Oh, I doubt it. I mean, you personally. No, not me. I'm. I don't like cooking. <laughs> oh, you don't, huh? <laughs> no. Can you bake? Oh, I, yeah, I have baked, but I mean, as you get older, you're just cooking for yourself. You don't sure. rather go out and eat. Can you uh, can you run? No, I can't run. I don't think I've never. I haven't tried. I don't have to run for anything. Yeah, what do you? What, do you, thinking, what does she have to run for, uh, Opie? She's can she can sit uh, no, uh, on the patio or or uh, under the tree. I understand, but you know, some of the older uh, women out there, they're they're keeping themselves in shape and she stuff. She sounds. So. I saw her. Yeah, I think people. Yeah, yeah. It's, I think it's because of the TV. Yeah, of course. They, um, yes, they know what it means to keep in shape, and mm -hmm. uh, I, they're much better off. Ethel, can you uh, can you rock climb? Can I rock climb? No, I, we did. We did climb a mountain in. Um, can you bike? Years ago. Oh, you did. <laughs> yes. Can you <laughs> can you bike? Oh, I used to bike. Yes, but yeah. what we had in England. Can you water ski? Water ski? No, I do not like water. Oh. No. Oh, you don't like the water. No, I'm scared of the water. Well, it's, that's probably why you moved off of the island <laughs> over there, you know? <laughs> oh, good gosh. Can, can you uh, can you rollerblade? No, no. Oh. Do you have, uh, you have vivid recollection of uh, the war there, Ethel? Oh, definitely. Yeah, what was that like in England? I like talking to people uh, uh, from England during, during the wartime. What was that like uh, for a young uh, woman back uh, there in the uh, 40s during the war? It, um, it was very, um, well, <laughs> we used to, like, at night we'd go to the, uh, we called it the pictures, the movies. Right. And uh, then my mother and father were home, and my little uh, niece was with them. But as soon as the siren sounded, we ran. We ran all the way home because we figured if one's going, we're all going. Yeah. And the air raids, we've had, we had bombs on the street. And, wow. Uh, yeah. One night, um, well, we used to go down at a little shelter in the backyard it was like a little concert hut 
and oh they dug goodness. down a big hole and then they dropped it in. But of course, we were all there one night because there was a big, big air raid going on. And wow! So it, yeah, well, I remember all of it. Wow, that is something. That sure is. So many stories. I bet. Uh, uh, I had five brothers and one sister in the service. Yeah. Really? Yeah, my one brother was uh, died in uh, Tunisia. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, we're really sorry. Well, to hear uh, that uh, you know what? Heroes. You could be very proud. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I think I could write a book. <laughs> you yeah. probably could. Are are you, are you going to write one? No, I don't think so. No, I just took up painting with the, some, several of the ladies here, and I enjoy that. So can you oh, can nice. you uh, paint the Mona Lisa yet? No, not yet, but. It, uh -huh. Just watch for the. Just watch. <laughs> hey, uh, you, uh, are you able to uh, speak German? No, 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 no. We no, but we did have um, <laughs> we did have Italian uh, prisoners of war uh, working on the land right near where I was. Oh, really? Yeah. After we moved from London, uh, we moved up to uh, the East Coast, and there was all these. But um, my uh, my mother used to make them cocoa <laughs> and everything. They were just ordinary people. Oh, wow. Just like everybody else. So now I hear the um, Americans, uh, uh, you know, when they were over there. Now I'm not, I'm not getting uh, into any personal matters or anything, but uh, uh, any of the other, the American men take a fancy to you, uh, Ethel? Yeah, just this one. <laughs> uh, your husband? What? Yes. Was he an American? Yes, yes. What did they used to say? The b worst thing about the Americans is they're overpaid. Oh, that was the thing. If they, you know, when they went to a, um, you know, to the pub or anything. I mean, they, you know, and I think that's the way they are. They're just generous. But they used to have their money out on the table. And, of course, the English didn't have such good uniforms either, you know, <laughs> kind of scratchy uniforms. Ah. And, but, no, but, um, no, my, my mother liked him. My mother really liked him. Mm. Yeah, it was something like they were overpaid, oversexed, and over here. <laughs> that was the problem. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious, Ethel. All right, let's yeah. let's say hi to uh, Steve from. Oh no, let's not. Steve, uh, Steve, where are you calling from? I, uh, hello, I mean, oh, oh hi. Okay. hi Steve. I think I think I have to um, leave I, early. No, this no. is terrible, Ethel. Hi, Ethel. Um, how are you? This is Anthony, and I, I have to I have to leave a little early. All right, but yeah. uh, it's been wonderful uh, talking to you. Thank you. Oh, yes. And uh, really now you can talk with Steve because I want nothing to do with Steve. Hi, Ethel. How are you? Okay. <laughs> I, I can't really hear. There's a noise going on. I don't know what it is. You, Hi, I'm I'm calling. I'm one of the callers to the radio show. How are you? Wait, you can hear you. You can hear him, okay, Ethel? I can just about hear him. Yes. Oh, Ethel, are you? Can, can you? Can you actually fix the slab yourself? Can I what? Can you fix the slab yourself? I think when I was younger, I might have done it <laughs> <laughs> because I had a very similar thing. We used to have a crab apple tree where I grew up. Oh, did they? Yes, I was constantly engaging in certain experiences behind it with other friends. Yes. Uh, well, I, I don't know how long this one will last, but for however long it lasts, it, I think it's still going to be there. Well, do you think they're actually going to move the dumpster there? Because that's where most of my production belongs. Oh, you huh. you're what? Oh, no, I was wondering if they're going to move the dumpster there. No, no, I don't <laughs> have the dumpster there. <laughs> I'm sorry? I don't want the dumpster there. Yes, I, I love the fact that you took a stand because so many people won't take a stand. They just allow everybody to, to walk on them. That's right. But when, but when it happens, when it, when it goes through, when it's all safe, then they're all right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, I, really stand. I really admire the fact that you have so much energy, too, because... My grandmother always was like that, too. She had a tremendous amount of energy, and she would always scold me for being in the closet with other, other boys and such. And I love the fact that that energy keeps you going. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, good. Do you have any other causes that you're going to be fighting for? No, I do <laughs> If they come up, we'll be here as long as we can. That's I can't fantastic. do it. Uh, <laughs> have you thought maybe you could name the crab got apple to. tree? Damn it, you got to. No. No, that's silly. No. <laughs> Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> this lady's very nice. Yes, Ethel is a wonderful, wonderful woman. Ramon. <laughs> I enjoy eating crab apples. They're delicious. Oh. Oh, well, I've never tried one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ramon. I was only kidding. You probably don't want to bake them into a pie, dear. No, I, I don't think so, no. No, no, no. 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 <laughs>
Okay, well, I, I have to go now because <laughs> even I have certain standards. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you do, I Steve. I don't have work ethic. <laughs> yes. And I, 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 I don't have very good production. Yeah. I'm actually looking at the man I'm doing an impression of right now, so it's like, Rambo! <laughs> She's a wonderful woman. God love her. Yes. Uh, wow. <laughs> well, thank you, Steve. And uh, <laughs> uh, Ethel. Uh, well, let's talk to Ethel a little. Uh, Steve, you're... All right, there it goes. Yeah, there goes Steve from Yellowstone. <laughs> Eth Ethel, uh, wow, uh, you, you're a media star. Yeah, you now. sure are. Oh, I gotta tell my kids that. Are you uh, planning on uh, doing any more television? No, I don't think so. No, I, don't, I didn't like myself on television. Oh, why not? Why not? Ethel? I thought you were charming. Absolutely. I, I, I think what it is, you don't really see yourself, and uh, you know, I mean, we, you look in the mirror, but you don't really see. Yourself, I don't know, what oh. it is, but I didn't like it. Can can you get out to Hollywood? Oh well, maybe someday. Who knows? Oh, maybe someday. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, you can lead a horse to water, but, but... You can't make it drink. <laughs> what was that? Excuse me. But you can't make it drink. Exactly. <laughs> right. Wow. How to get one more? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Uncle Paul up there in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts, wants to say something to Ethel. Oh, all right. Uh, hi, Ethel. God love you. Oh, thank you. I love the energy like the last caller said. I'm 57 years young. <laughs> uh, so uh, how old do you grant? <laughs> oh, your uh, grandchildren. Yes. grandchildren. Yes. How yes. old are your grandchildren? Yes. Oh, Uncle Paul. How old are they? What, is he a comedian? <laughs> no, no, no. How, oh, well. You have grandchildren. How old are your grandchildren? Oh. How old? Oh, my son. Oh, I hate to say how old. <laughs> no, your grandchildren. I think he's 58, 59. I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. How, how, how old are your, gra your grandkids? Oh, no, my grandchildren are there. Um, one's still in college, and one is a teacher, and the other one manages a store in uh, Boston. Ah, uh, boy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, looks like Paul. we've lost Uncle, Uncle Paul. Paul. Looks like we lost Uncle Paul somehow. <laughs> Maybe the phone line. Uh, yeah. Well. Can, can he's talking now, Ethel? Can you hear him? No, I can't. No. <laughs> Thanks. What's can, he ringing the bell for? Uh, I don't uh, know. Trying to get uh, yeah, the guy's attention to fix the phone line. That's right. All right. Uh, they, they said they fixed it. Can you hear him now? Nope. No. No. Damn. You'll do All it for right. him, but not me. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, Ethel, you are a Sharpie. <laughs> Thank you. I like you. You're very sharp-witted and uh, just a wonderful woman. And uh, best of luck in any future endeavors right. that you may have. Uh, it's saving this tree. I think it's a very noble cause of you and your friends. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. Keep fighting the good fight, and uh, hey, well, maybe we'll talk to you after it's finally resolved. All right, thank you. Yeah. You Thanks. sound like you have a good time. I oh, we have a go. lot of fun here, Ethel. We try. Ethel. Do you think you could? Uh, do you think you could um, do your own radio show? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, mm. no, I'm too busy. <laughs> oh, really? Wait, wait, what do you do? Uh, what, what do you do to keep busy? Well, I do a lot of things. We go out a lot. We go out to eat. I like I said, we go. Painting, and we go uh, looking in antique stores. Can can you can you drive, Ethel? Oh, of course I can drive. Oh, very good. I'm can, be driving. You don't you don't uh, get a flashback and drive on the wrong side of the road, do you? Oh no, that, that did happen when we we went back one time. Oh, good gravy! Uh, yes, and then we came home, and then my husband came out, and, I, and he had been used to driving on the other side. Oh! And all of a sudden, he realized he was on the wrong side. It is. It's at, when you're in the car though, in, over there. And I used to look, and I p see people looking out of the window, and I'd say, well, "Well, he's not even looking where he's going." And I realized it was a passenger. That's the passenger. The oh my God! Uh, can can uh, can you drive from the uh, the left side over there? No, I never drove over <laughs> there. No, I, all I had was a bicycle. Oh, a bicycle. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, quaint. And take the trains and the buses, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't oh. hard. Oh, boy, we sure showed those Nazis, didn't we? <laughs> I guess we did. Yes, we <laughs> did. <laughs> I hear you, Ethel. I know where you're coming from. That's right. All right, sweetheart. You uh, you have fun. Right. And uh, tell, you, tell your friends hello for us. I will. All right. Thank you very much. Bye, Thank Ethel. you, Ethel. Bye -bye. Thank you, Ethel. There she goes, Ethel.
What a uh, sweet old bag. <laughs> she was very nice. She was too nice. <laughs> and boy, did we get a few C words out of her. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good game. She wasn't that easy. No, that's wasn't. why. That's why it was fun to do. She wasn't easy to stump. <laughs> Came up with a lot of uh, different words for cat all of a yeah. sudden. Damn it. We needed her the most. Uh, Holy mackerel. <laughs> Good job, Jimmy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's just too sweet an old lady. I'm, I'm not remoting her. From England. Yeah, just Mary Poppins-ish. Yeah. It was funny, though. Made it through the war. Her husband for forever is dead and so everything. The call came through. You were trying to bail out. Oh, I know. I'm just like, I'm not even going to sit here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was getting death threats on pal talk and stuff. Be nice, Tar. Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Ethel's all right in our book. Yeah. We'll uh, take a break. Opie and Anthony. It's the Opie and Anthony show. I'm starting to look like I got punched in the face. I'm going home. What happened? F you if you don't understand. That is really. I, I, I will, I'll make it to nine o'clock, but uh. I'll be swelling up. I came in a little itchy. Yeah. And now it looks like I, I went a few rounds uh, with Chuck Liddell or something. Really <laughs> somebody because my whole eye is swelling up. The last time this happened to me, I was I was in the emergency room, in really bad shape. So is it something you ate. Yeah, because it's getting worse and worse as the morning goes on. I came in here like slightly itchy on my head. No, no don't take pictures. <laughs> uh, I'm not an animal. <laughs> for, uh, no. How about for Opie's eye? No, I'm not an animal. No. Yeah. I'll, I'll take a picture of Opie's eye for Opie's eye today because it looks like it got punched in the face really hard. Oh, picture. that was it. I was trying to remember the goddamn bit that what? was being played when I was driving home the other day. What? And it was... Jimmy goofing on the elephant man. Dude, I I I wanted to call you. It was some of the funniest crap I ever heard. I don't even remember. Oh, it was hysterical. You're just talking about my kit! My <laughs> kit! <laughs> you're talking about his wispy little hair, Comey. You bash the elephant man. Just worse than anybody in real life probably laughing at him. <laughs> talking about the hooker, how they're pushing her face toward the <laughs> it was so goddamn funny. Brilliant stuff. I picked the tough targets. Oh, you always. Elephant man. <laughs> and how he dabbed the, the cologne behind his ears and threw his head back. That was my favorite. His man about town moment. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, he still smelled like rotting flesh. Of course he did. scab. <laughs> <laughs> Dead at 21. Trying to sleep like a person. Beautiful. My mother. There's a picture of her in my locket. She was average at best. You're just a minus six. <laughs> like your mom was a three, dude. My kid. Uh, that was the greatest. Poor, poor Anthony Hopkins trying to give him some dignity. Uh, yeah. Comb your hair with this. It's a rake. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been a shotgun. <laughs> Here, comb your hair with this. It's a hangman's noose. <laughs> a huge one over that head. <laughs> yeah, it looks like. Are you going to uh, lasso a, a wild animal? No, it looks like a hangman's <laughs> Okay. And then you're talking about the kid, the picture of the kid sleeping that he had laying down. And it's like, good, you can't do that, dummy. <laughs> you're like, you were so mean. I, I vaguely remember talking about oh, him. And I, I remember great. my favorite part was that he would try to be incognito with a burlap hat with an eye hole. <laughs> with an eye hole. <laughs> do something less conspicuous, like carry a stick with fire on it so people look at the fire. <laughs> and they don't notice your head. <laughs> He was a boob. Uh, Is everybody got certainly was big show off. I never saw that movie. <laughs> oh I, I, no, know. That's a, I know it, it I is know. a great movie. Uh, I know it's so good. Uh, Keith in Jersey, Keith, it's a great comedy. Hey, uh, you want to do the Shrewsbury uh, broads real fast? It's a it's a story we yes uh, we a story we broke exclusively here on the Opie and Anthony show. Well, thanks to Mike the board op at BCN. Oh yeah, he uh, he sent this story our way. We had so much fun with the audio. Remember the audio. Of course. What, what's this about? You got three old broads. They live in a in a in a apartment complex, mm -hmm. and they have this crab apple tree that they love. And uh, I guess the town wants to get rid of the crab apple tree to put up uh, put, put a in dumpster a, there. Put a dumpster in its place. The women loosely tie themselves to their lawn furniture <laughs> under the tree. Under the tree. To try to save the tree. To try to save the tree. 
But uh, they weren't that motivated because they kind of left the tree unguarded. I got chilly. Yeah, so they went inside. Not not uh, not too committed to the it's whole thing. It's damp out my arthritis. Yeah. And then uh, that's when we met Ethel. Remember Ethel? Of course. How can I forget Ethel? She has a... Uh, Married to Fred Mertz. <laughs> she has a fine way of saying the word can't. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yes, yes. And this is but she's from England, but she's from England years ago. This gives us an excuse to play mm -hmm. her audio once again. Love and it. while safety is certainly a big concern for these ladies, they say there's got to be a better option than cutting down a tree. And I can't see yeah. why they can't fix the dumpster, why they can't fix the pad. I mean, I'd like to know <laughs> them to tell me why they can't fix the pad. All it is is a cement pad. I'm sure if I was young, I could fix it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. One of the best audio clips in, in recent memory right there. Yeah. They they can't do it. Yeah, they certainly can't do it. Well, here's your update today, Ant. And uh, there's some sad news. Some sad news. Uh-oh. Three get eviction notices. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that housing uh, development doesn't uh, fool around. No. In Shrewsbury, a Worcester lawyer has filed a court action to try to stop the eviction of three women who say they are being retaliated against for trying to prevent a crab apple tree from being cut down and, and protesting uh, vindictive regulations at their senior housing complex. The women, Helen, 93, oh, <laughs> Leah, 74, and Pat, 65, were served eviction notices Tuesday by a constable. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The notices give the women 30 days to vacate their apartments at uh, at their apartment complex. <sighs> Ethel is safe, by the way. The audio of the woman you just heard, she's oh, safe. Oh, yeah. She's safe. She was able to avoid this. Uh, she probably said, uh, you can't kick me out, and uh, the person got scared at her language. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> so she uses salty language like that. We gotta leave he said, well, I'm kicking you out, and she said, you can't. And he goes, well, there's no need to insult me. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and they're basically being evicted <laughs> for, uh, you know, uh, obstructing the work of the housing authority. They wanted mm. this crab apple tree gone and a dumpster in its place. Well, I'm sure they had a big homeowners association meeting. and. <laughs> Uh, he wants me to bring my chair out every morning and bring it back in at night. Well, I use a walker. There's no way I could do that, said Mrs. Uh, blah, blah. Any man that will stoop that low to evict a 93-and-a-half-year-old woman who has lived here 32 years over a chair has got to be sick. Something about a chair, I don't know. Mm. Well, it's the chair she sits in under the tree. I'm sure she leaves it under the tree. Right. Because uh, she uses a walker. Right. So they're trying to evict the old broads. Yeah. For their crab apple tree stunt. God, can we Poor old out? biddies. Who's trying to evict them? Can we? The housing authority. Oh, God, they'd never get on the phone. Jimmy, we Faceless would do. entity. 